Out to suit up in the Emperor's name. Take my hand, tiny dancer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's have some fun today. I hope you guys love the soundtrack of Warhammer 40k Mechanicus because it fits this so goddamn well. I kind of wish there was a mod 
that would just simply add this in to any time you're in like the ship view for Grey Knights or for Demon Hunters because it's just so fucking good. But let's have some fun here today. And before we have some fun here today, when I'm trying to kill in the Emperor's name, it's important that what I will be doing is drinking some sneak energy. I'm going to be, you see, you see, you see the Space Marines, they have more than one uh, stomach and it allows them to process, actually it's not more than one stomach, they have more than one heart. But their, pro their stomach can process things that normal humans cannot process. They can eat bark to sustain themselves, so that's how space marines fucking are. But, hey, I bet you didn't know that space marines also take sneak energy right to the vein. They mainline sneak energy. It's what makes them jack hard, rock hard, rock Johnson, rock hard jacking. Let's have some fun here today. Head on over to... Two. Sneakenergy.com. Use critter code SPARTY at checkout. Please do it. Because I literally think they're going to off me from the program soon. But that's neither here nor there. And before we get started, let's do the right thing. Let's get Roman up in this piece. For those of you that are members of the channel, you'll notice that there are a whole new slew of emojis that are geared towards Romans. So you'll be able to take advantage of those. Um, I'm going to be starting to restream onto Twitch here pretty soon. Um, so I'll be streaming on both YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. And we'll talk about some other things that has been kicking around in my head lately because I am a depressive individual and things have been raining on my parade lately. Roman, come here. What are you doing down here, buddy? Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a big stretch you did. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's so tired from his little morning walk. Aren't you, bud? No, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> He's so good. He's so good. Yeah. Yeah, look at this guy, too. Be big. Big boy. He's my big boy. You're a big boy. You're a big boy, my boy. Roman has now self-taught himself how to play fetch, surprisingly enough. Um, he has taught himself... I think that's it. Right? So good. <sighs> like, we we workshopped, um, what's it called? Fetch. Like, I was like, okay, buddy, let's try this. And I threw it, and he kind of, he picked it up, and he dropped it on the way back. He was more excited to come back to me than to bring to, to fetch to retrieve the item. We did it three times, and we went to bed. Woke up the next fucking morning... And I threw it, and he ran it back to me. I'm like, were you just in bed, like, subconsciously thinking of how you are supposed to do this? Like, he's, he's an incredible dog. Okay. Yeah, it was, it, it's good. Like he, he was just so excited to come back to me that he was like, ah, screw the thing I gotta bring. I'm gonna come. And, and now he just, he'll get it, and if he finally gets in his mouth, he'll look at me, and then he'll sprint back to me. He's great. He's good. He's good, Will. We are in good places. How old is he? Oh, he's uh, 21 weeks old. So he'll be 22 weeks on. He'll be 22 weeks tomorrow. Does it? I don't know. I don't know, Ken. You would know way better than I would. I just kind of assume, like, oh, well, things are good. So good. Uh, every, like, so my, my trainer that I've got for him, he, um,. He uh, is going to start obedience training in two weeks, in 15 days. And uh, the trainer was like, honestly, we'll probably be doing the stuff that I would... It's a six-class thing, so one week, a, one, a class a week. And we'll probably be doing the things that I normally do with people. And then by the end of that period... <clears throat> but, but I'm sorry, by the end of like the first or second second class, we'll probably start doing advanced things. I'm like, cool with me. 
She's like, yeah, we'll be able to work on, like, down from 15, 20 feet. I mean, he can already, like, from across the gym, which is, like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, 60 feet, whatever, however far away, I can make eye contact with him. He'll be sitting, and I can yell, settle. And settle, like, there's a difference that sitting is sitting, down is down, settle, he'll plop his hips, he'll rest his hips to the side. So he'll be sitting, and I'll yell from across the gym, settle, and he'll plop down and rest his hips. He is a mini Australian shepherd. So we're going to be heading here, I guess, right? Get us a just a car. I don't even want a just a car. Uh, four sword, I don't even want. Yeah, Ken, I'm pretty stoked on him, man. He's 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 been a he's been a lovely little ball of joy. The beginning was super hard, but we've made it to this part. Are you from Australia? Well, well. Ooh, game once every five days done. Sean, it's going well. How about you, dude? None. What's that? I don't know what that is. Uh, there's been a lot of updates to the game. I have not played since those updates happened. So, if you know of anything that I don't know about, feel free to buy it. go ahead and let me know. Okay, hull integrity is at two or four. Meaning we could probably get pretty horny with that. Um, you know what? Hmm. What's my barracks at currently? 14 of 16. You know what? I think we go with the one more recruit. Well, it's one more recruitment rank when they come from uh, Mars. Correct. We might be start working on some of these too. Brother Ekta may may have held his concerns out of respect for your new command, but he has repeatedly asked me when the barracks will be restored in full. Which who's your favorite champion of chaos? Uh, it's Valkia, 100%. Sean. If we're talking about the DLC, I don't know, whatever the corn character is, but I mean just like in general, Valkia. And I've always said that. Valkia is the thing. Yeah, man, I'm streaming again. I kind of want to take a little bit of time off. Um, I'll have a pull up in a little bit. So, Will, I don't have a discount, but if you do head to my Nexus, you can support me by purchasing it through there, but I don't. Let me see if it's on sale through there. Yeah, it's it's, it's full price. I'm sorry, man. I, I wish I had a cool discount code, but I don't. Dude, all my Nexus games have just been shit on because Sega and Nexus no longer have a deal together anymore. So, fuck me, right? Anytime it says pause, I've alt-tabbed, so... Um... I love this game. I really do love this game. I hope they have DLC, Rodrigo. Rodrigo Bustamante Bedoya? That's a fucking great goddamn name, dude. You should feel honored to have such a name, Battle Brother. I will upgrade the experience. Get some of our, our Paltry Bros upgraded to full. Death Guard encountered, huh? Oh, shit. Small-scale projectiles launching from the enemy vessel. Torpedoes? Negative. Analysis patterns reveal satellite deployment. Box transmissions detected. What are they casting? Commander, this could be the Dark Tongue. Order your crew to put on their helmets and... Update. Multiple crew stations unresponsive. It's a distraction. The enemy ship's maneuvering to attack. The edict must be protected. So here's the problem. Oh, we have encountered a Death Card cruiser. We must prevent whole integrity from falling to zero. The edict will be destroyed. What do you mean higher gun battery level? Uh, theirs is one. Ours is three. State your orders. Choose to order alternate attacks or avoid hull. Uh, maybe this is just because... Crap. Um, Duke, I don't... So a Nexus is what I use for my reseller thing. Sega does have a direct reseller program I'm going to try to set up before the DLC comes out so you guys can support me with that if you want but by all means guys just always always buy any game or any DLC in the best easiest 
or most affordable way for you. If you want to support the channel, please, by all means, use my Nexus store, use my reseller programs, whatever they are. But ultimately, it comes down to you and your wallet. And ease, you know? Like, sometimes you use these reseller programs and it's like... Uh, what I like about Nexus is they, they get the keys from the developer. A lot of reseller programs, they buy keys in bulk from a different party and they are... They are like a like a reseller to a reseller, so it's kind of a weird shady um, relationship. Like Steam, for example, their old relationship with developers used to be that they would buy quantities of keys, and once they owned the keys, they could discount them however they wanted, and the developer had no say in it. Now, uh, price points are negotiated, and the the, the margin is negotiated. Thank you, Duke. I appreciate that, man. When I get the, uh, I hope Nexus can get it resolved in time. If not, I'll definitely use the uh, the Sega one. Oh, there's demons in the sack, bro. What's up, Dark Omen? How are you, man? Good to see you. Okay, so uh, let's see. Open fire. The enemy vessel is outclassed. Fire on the Vox casters. The ship may be at risk. Uh, attempt to retreat. The Grandmaster. No, no, no. <laughs> Please, open fire. Opening fire. Lost three servitors, plus two requisition. I'll take it. Gunbarrel level three. You destroy the ship quickly. However, the Voxcaster's dark murmuring corrupts several members of the crew, who must be purged once the battle is done. Yeah, just a nice relaxing stream. So that's that's the big... So, definitely, guys, we're waiting for Immortal Empires to kind of launch here at the end of the month. I assume I'll get some sort of early access like we usually do, you know. So I don't really want to get started on a big long-form campaign. Um... I was going to do a Crusader Kings 3 stream, but I decided, eh, you know what, let's, let's see when that early access starts to hit, or if it hits. Um, again, more than likely it probably will. But in the meantime, I've kind of been... Uh, I've just been kind of thinking about the future of the channel and what I want to do. And I don't want to create Total War Warhammer content forever. It's not a long-term sustainable thing. Uh, when its dev cycles are slow, it's painful. Uh, Crusader Kings 3 dev cycle right now has been super slow. The dev cycle for Bannerlord has been painful. So it's like, what I want to do is, I'm not going to change the channel and completely, at least overnight, but I think I want to branch into some different avenues. And I'm here on stream asking you bros, what would you watch? Would you watch my channel if I transitioned into doing history and made a secondary channel for gaming, but mainly I just use this channel for history? Would you watch me if I was a variety streamer playing the games that come out that I usually play privately and don't ever show on stream and show highlight clips and show guides? So examples would be Dark Tides coming out. Um, Skull and Bones is coming out. Uh, what's coming out? What's coming out? Uh, Ragnarok I'd play on my PS5. Um, basically playing the games that I want to play all the time. So I guess a, ver a variety streamer. Um, I thought about doing like gaming news and that's fine and all but it's a strategy game focused channel mainly and the, the strategy game news isn't too riveting so let's see what would you watch history based content let's put history and lore lore included God damn, you know what? Here comes Shijin just fucking shitting on my my goddamn idea. I'm just kidding. What's up, Shiwan? Good to see you, brother. Uh Variety Gaming Streaming Guides. Um What was it? there was, I have another option in my mind. Let me I typed it out to turn because I'm having an existential crisis about it. Um, you know what? No, I'll just post this. There you go. I've watched a channel of you cooking oatmeal, dude. Whatever you decide. Oatmeal's a tricky bitch to cook, though, man.
Nick F. It would some. It would be something I would very slowly do. It would be something I would do. Like, hey, here's a video on like, like the way I, the format I thought about doing is tier list videos for EJ Mongrel with Prank Call Channel. Uh, tier list videos for. Am I not at the location? Oh, okay. Tier list videos for like history, and and not like in a in a direct like gaming tier list, but talk about like okay, hey. Let's talk uh, tier lists of pre-World War I empires and talk about the British Empire, the Ottoman Empire, the German Empire, and, and have a lot of fun with that. And I would slowly do that in the kind of the same way that Invicta did. Invicta used to be a Halo channel, then a Total War channel, now purely a history channel. Major Mula, it's why I enjoy using... CK3 is a backdrop to talk about history. Egg drop soup is hard, but I love it. Okay, win a mission with no critical injuries. We can do that. Destroy the bloom and spawn spreader. Uh, Matt's Monson, I think that if I did a history based channel, a way to kind of differentiate myself would be also talking about Warhammer, Warhammer 40k, Lord of the Rings, uh, the Forgotten Realms, basically being like, a historian that talks about all types of history, which I think would be pretty cool. Yeah, a meme style history tier list would be funny as fuck though, right Nick? Like, I kind of think it would be cool to have conversations about like, basically, okay, dude, British Empire, end of the Victorian era, prior World War One, S tier, S tier empire. Just no cap, you know, <laughs> like full on Zoomer speak, like no cap, bet. <laughs> But I think like a lot of history channels touch on all history. Uh, I'm sorry, history of, of a very like uh, antiquity or classic or modern or industrial. I would touch on pretty much all the things that I really want to know to talk about. Major Mula, uh, he said, I would love variety content, but then it comes a question about being actually good in those games. So as the danger of being shallow, I think your best content has been history. And that, dude, that's such a great observation. Thank you. Um, the stuff that I would play privately, though, I'm not trying to say I'm a fucking great gamer. I'm just good at it. Like, I play Escape from Tarkov, and I'm not badass at it, but I'm, I became very passable very quick. Because um, it's the way my brain works, like... I have to be really good at something, or else I just don't. It, it, I'm like, ah, fuck this. Like, if I'm streaming or play or, or making content, I have to be as good as I think I can be at it. I can't just half-ass it. That's why I don't play competitive Total War anymore because the spurts of time in which I was um, in between matches, my or in between like play sessions, it would my my skill set would drop off. It would, it would just go like this, and I would get so frustrated. I'm like, fuck it, I can't do it. Let's do this mission. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, uh, select it. I want to go with. I know, Battle Brother. Okay, we'll go with him. No, I want you to. Can I go back to the, telep the teleportarium? Okay, Apothecary, Purgator. I want then uh, you to be. Where is my badass? Um, I guess the Interceptor. Is it Vortimer I'm thinking of? Yeah, probably. Let me see. Yeah. It's something I've really thought about, Eli. Porn dudes, top tier. Sparty tier list porn stars from history. Uh, Capri Cavani is like S tier right there. It's like probably my favorite one. As a man of class and culture. <sighs> okay, this is Purgator. This should be alright. Look how badass this guy is. I am ready, battle brother. Put me in the thick of it. No, I was gonna go. With, you know, the shield's not that great. It might have been better. It might have. Might have. They might. May, it might be better now, but. Q 
Ken, can you give me an example of, of something you'd like to hear about? I think good channels always have a clear, strong identity, so historical games would be an easy sell from that perspective, too. Yeah, and that's my problem is I I don't have a clear, strong identity on this channel. Uh, it was lore at one point, but I, I had covered so many of the bigger button topics of lore, at least in fantasy, that what I didn't like and what I saw what was happening was I was making lore videos to make money rather than making lore videos to tell stories. And I was like, shit, this is my job and I'm out of big, cool stories to tell. There, there's like, okay, talk about the Warbeard, I can talk about the Time of Three Emperors, stuff like that. Like, there, there's only a few left. And in my brain, I'm like, well, why talk about the Time of Three Emperors now when I can wait until Warhammer the Old World comes out and have that video get way more views? And that's something that you kind of have to think about when you're a YouTuber is thinking about the timeliness of your videos. Like, I have a chaos, a chaos Dwarf roster video I have been sitting on for years, waiting for Creative Assembly to go, here's the trailer for the Chaos Dwarfs. Cool, two days later, there goes my video, it's up. You know, like, that's the thing is like, you think about, okay, I can make this video now and I can get, the, I can get quick money or I can wait and that video makes more money later because yeah, sure. You guys might watch it when the, when the chaos Wharf trailer comes out, but you'll watch the video. That's more recent because that's how YouTube serves them to you. And that is a really annoying thing. Update. Greater bloom spawn detected in sewage processing facility. Alpha seven, five, seven. A fitting venue for the machinations of the plague god. We will not be deterred. Deploying now. Fiction. Pre-Columbian Americans and comparison to fictional first contacts. Forgotten Realms, Shadowdale, and its multi-god pantheon compared to, say, Greek Empire. Darren who, Buck? Timeless Chronicles 2, I found your channel because of your CK3 guides and stayed and joined because I really like your CK3 stream. It's more enjoyable than most other CK3 YouTubers. Well, thank you very much, Timeless. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you for being a member for over a year, for a year and a half, my battle brother. Glad to have you. Thank you for being here, my guy. Is this a roguelite? No, it's um, it's kind of like a XCOM clone. Nick, it's 100% the truth, man. Any of the for the DLC, Cormac will be also there. Uh, I don't know Darknesses. Oh, Republic of Play? Okay, what did he do? One of the last games that actually got me hooked. I did not play for the recording vids on YouTube, but just do actually play the game since it's much, much fun. Yeah, you know what? Um, My beautiful boy! <laughs> I, Because of... Because of this game, I got back into war 40k modeling. But I got Roman a week after, so I haven't been able to fucking do anything. No, Andrew, there's not. You take your time. Why does this game feel so choppy? Graphics. Exclusive full screen. What is, that sounds scandalous. <sighs> V-Sync we turn off because I use G-Sync. Motion Blur will turn that off because fuck that. Shadow quality. I always like to do a good medium if I'm streaming. Oh my god. Did I just turn motion blur on? God, it looks terrible all of a sudden. Why does the game look so funky? That's weird. That'll be fine. We'll be fine. Rowinger for 19 months, I'll swallow both historic and entertaining gameplay. Thank you, brother. Top left. Yeah, there's no... This is just telling me that... Um, this is for a specific objective. I don't have to do that. Yeah, Nick, I do. The bloom spreader is over here. For the bloom spreader, okay. 
but has come here, Battle Brothers. When is Vicky 3 coming out? Did they give us an actual uh, yes, Commander. Uh, release date? Okay, let's kind of let's get our paladin on first. Okay, why is that even on? Uh, settings. Hey, that guy you know, Italian Spartacus playing Grey Knights, more like Italian Malleus. Different game, but I'm wondering who your first campaign campaign in Immortal Empires will be. You, we both know who it is, Battle Brother. It will be... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Demon King lore? Like the anime? Oh, I pressed the Eula, whoopsies. messed everything up over here. Close that, do this, do that. Um, where the hell is... Yeah, Mark, I, I do love Invicta's uh, history stuff. Also check out Flashpoint History. He's really, really good. Also check out Kings and Generals, of course. Where the hell is the thing for... There's a way to shut off the tutorial stuff. I can't remember where. Oh, uh, the first one will be um, Eltharian. Eltharian. I don't think I've ever watched history buffs. Yes, I, I thought it was to be announced. I, I assumed Vicky 3 will come out um, February, March 2023. <sighs> Andrew Robert Glassford asked, have you... Ever had any conversations with Creative Assembly about doing some voice acting for Warhammer? I would bloody love some Sparty voice back, voice act voiceovers for Dogs of War. Andrew, um, back when Dogbert was a part of the company, I told him, listen, um, let me know if you guys ever need a voice actor. I'll do it pro bono because I just want a voice acting credit on a AAA game. I have a, I have a um a pipe dream to become a voice actor that is an absolute dream of mine and could i do it sure is it easy absolutely not it's so hard to break into but dogbert's not there anymore and i've, I've definitely told like people like at ca like hey hey i'll be a fucking skaven screaming and dying i don't care i'll do whatever you want Offer voice work for mods? That's a good idea. The voice Gollum. <laughs> and and Gollum's the guy who like goes through the uh the tutorial with you, like, that's precious. Simply right click over here. Use the space bar to then switch on this option. Like, yeah, yeah, yes, I now get it. Thank you, Gollum. My blade is ever ready. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you very much, Will Clark, for becoming a new member of the channel, guys. Thank you, as always. Uh, th this is kind of why I'm thinking about doing so much different things to the channel and everything like that is because when I hit these kind of points where it's super slow, my, my income goes, <laughs> which sucks. And that's it causes me to kind of hit these panic stages of going like, okay, I need to think about my future and what I'm going to do for the uh, uh, what I'm going to do for content and stuff like that so the unfortunate thing is like I hit these points of just going like, what, the, what, the, what the fuck I'm going to do but you guys becoming members and all those donations you guys have made over the last like month and a half have made this slow time like amazing it it I would was not as stressed as I've been in the past because of you guys. So thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very, very, very much. Dude. You know, that's the problem is like, I, I'm really good with voices, but 
I'm better with impersonations, and I think I have to read a prompt to get a good voice in my head. Matt Mercer has, like, you know, years, under, like, 30 years, 20 years. Um, I, uh, Nick, I'm not worried about that. A lot of people are. I'm not worried about that. The, the stuff we have coming in the future is going to be beautiful. Um, yes, sir. And you can just go ahead and just Aegis Shield as well. I don't know anything about that world. You know, Andrew, I don't... I, I think I can with fair use law. He, he's... And he's also like a really good dude. Matt Mercer is like a really good dude. Torin, uh, that's just kind of... That's the way the gaming industry is. Uh, the majority of Europe is on their... Um, is on leave right now. Um, yeah, Matt Mercer is also just a normal actor. As am I. I have a degree in... Ding! Oh, I also have to, uh, uh, many certifications in swords so that I can teach you to fight with swords because I've been in Shakespeare. Yeah, a hundred percent. She won. You have to do a ton of uh, free work. Okay, remember when we were gonna play the game? I don't anymore. Years. I have, um, so my degree is in graphic design, and the other one is in improv, so kind of like coming up with voices on the spot has been something that I've done for, yeah, I know, I've done for years and years and years. I kind of wish I was still doing improv, because it is a definitely an appreciable, appreciating skill set. <laughs> yes, and, <laughs> son of a bitch, get out of here with that, Andrew. Uh, what's L W O T C, Alex? Ready to serve. Which total will YouTubers play D and D? Uh, a lot of them. I know Indy doesn't. I think Indy has. Um, Nick and I have both done it. Uh, Sotek's done it. I think Nate has done it. Great book of grudges. I'm almost a hundred percent sure he has. Yeah, Ryan does. That's Sotek. Sotek and I have the same name. So we'll move here and do some shots. I think Legend has. I, I wouldn't... I don't know, though. I don't I don't really know Legend that well. A lot of people are like, oh, what's your thoughts on Legend? I'm like, I don't fucking know Legend at all. He's done many... A, he's been done many a nice thing, though. He's rated my channel and all sorts of cool, nice things. Like... Oh, he hasn't? I definitely, I, he definitely think, I, I feel like he's one of those people that I feel like is like, oh, I'll try it. You know, I'll try anything like twice. Because like, that's how I live my life is like, I'll, I'll suck anything twice. Um, and that's just kind of how you learn things, you know? Yeah, geez, the whole combat encounter. Like, okay, so I can do this, this, and this. Great, I'm done. I'm done. done. No, but you'll break the game. Yeah, but I've won. So what do I care? Um, you know, it's funny you said that, Shiwan. I actually thought about... So... Your, um... What's it called? Oftentimes, it's Medikai. Damn it, um... Tractor, yeah, let me get that. Oftentimes, <clears throat> corporate companies will send their management to improv classes. This is coming and... In. The reason behind that is it allows you to, um, it allows you to kind of better think on your your feet and stuff like that. And a lot of people kind of get, oh uh, yeah, support that fire. And I thought about like teaching that thing, uh, like teaching corporate improv class. I thought that'd be kind of, like, because it's like definitely like you're not gonna you're not training people to go on and and do this like full time, right? But you're definitely like, okay, now that's. Okay, so 10. Let's get right get here. Out. 
Yeah, well, if you do buy from the Nexus store, it supports me. If you're the Ancients, that's a spread attack, right? Yeah, okay. Um, let's just get Hogwog over there. Over there. Battle brother. And my this guy should be all right. Um, just shoot into this. Just come, come get some shots. Um, it, it tells you how much I get when you go through the checkout wheel. I think uh, I get 20% or 18%. All enemies in the bus are mutated immediately. Ooh, shit. Auto. This guy is son of a bitch. Oh, you weakened him. Bastard ass. How's that little symbol? <clears throat> okay. Oh, it shows that possible. Whoa, that guy's taking tons of damage. Die, die, die! It bleeds. It bleeds. Yeah, here you go. Knockback, huh? Okay, that's got a good range here. I kind of butt up against him, but let me see here. Yeah. Let's <sighs> so do that. Maybe we kind of come up to here. Let's go right here. Moving now. Okay, that'll kill him, that'll stop that overwatch, it'll do damage to everything right here, we'll just do it. God, look how sick that fucking thing is. You jerk, dude. Okay, I'm gonna break two. Or do I wanna... I don't remember which one you're going to... Seven to eight. Okay. Um. Hey guys, do make sure you're liking the stream. However many of you are watching here today, I don't remember what Twin Nurgle's gift is. I can't go back. God damn it. Um. We'll do the Disable Nurgle's gift. Won't matter. That's one that I think that causes the mutations. Jeff Goldblum was looking good here, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, mm, ah, uh, ah, uh, life will <laughs> find a way. There goes your head. Need more rounds. Why don't we all, Battle Brother? Why don't we all? Deal three damage, okay. It's five to six damage. This would do. Six damage, four strike, eight damage, okay. Standing ready. Standing ready. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I fucking want is shish kebab this bitch. So I'll kill him. Just about kill him. Kill him. Yeah, let's go right. Right in the balls of it. I love that. I love that. And then I got that back, which is sexual and exciting. Kill him just so he stops Overwatch. Because that way my uh, apothecary can actually do stuff. <clears throat> 
We battle brother, you do the melee attack. Um, six damage, and tracking adjacent damage. No, that's not. That's not right. Oh, plus the crit, yeah. And then he even has even more crit, so forty percent. Let us do it and finish this fucker off. I don't need the force strike on that. Yeah, let's get the guy. That guy is such a badass. He's kind of met up. Nope. I'm just doing a normal charge here. Purge, battle brother. I am no longer weakened. Okay. Medium rain and cloud of flies. You sons of the bitches. And that guy will help out with an assisting shot there. Uh, willpower. Um, oh, we can. He still takes. Man, that's a bunch of horse shit. Willpower. Uh, I don't need it. Shots into it. The enemy is wounded. Wait a bit. Come over here. Have him just basically Good chop choice. this thing down. Oh, hell yeah. Crit hit. Do it again, better hey. brother. Finish it off. Enemies destroyed. Let's get. We need you to come over here and grab this for willpower. I am with you. Well, that should have given him willpower. Oh, I should have actually done with my purgatory. My battle brother from another mother. Is your Where's this spreader? Okay. Ooh. Oh, shit. Well, it's going to be a long haul. Now we don't want to go too far to the left or right. <clears throat> Shit. Because the left or right has uh, um, yeah, dude, hundred percent. It's very snappy, Nick. Left or right has got patrols, so we want to try to avoid those as best we can. I'm gonna age a shield right now. So you get basically that um, something will happen wherein uh, I can do this. I'm actually going to do it on, on pretty much everyone. Because I'll get full action points back. I think what I should really start doing is like those like short form videos where people do like <sighs> Adeptus Astartus explained in five minutes. It's it's an overdone format, but it's like it works for a reason. Where's the end turn button? Oh, it's over here. It's just hidden. Can't put them on fast. That they might encounter me. I don't want to go get that. But this one I will. Alright. I am here to serve. On the way. Don't get me in trouble, bro. The Emperor 
Her lights are path. Like Major Mueller, are you asking the difference between like a cataphract and someone else, or what's the what's the question there? <clears throat> Uh, Sean, uh, Eltharian, 100% Eltharian. <clears throat> all the way over there, alright, we gotta just... Kinda make sure we're all good. We're all the way up to here, okay, we're good. Yeah, do you, do you mean, I mean, do you... Are you talking about how... Like, the difference between cataphracts and knights, or are you talking about... What enabled for the convention of a cataphract? Like, wh where's the question in the cataphract portion? I can help you. Yes, sir. Holy shit. Which of the law out of the Warhammer do you like? Fantasy or 40k? Which, uh... I think, I, I think, Will, you're asking which one do I like more? It's 40k. As um... Oh, which of the lore? Um... So I think. Ooh, excuse me. It depends on what you like more. To, to give you a, a reference here, forty k lore is a little more constantly evolving, and it has room for player input. Hey, you know what? I'm going to be playing as this obscure space marine chapter from this obscure founding and this obscure portion of the. Segmenta Obscurus. Uh, whereas the fantasy lore is a little bit more unwavering. It's tried and true. The deviations are slighter. Uh, you have deviations from 6th to 7th to 8th because 6th edition ends with the Storm of Chaos. And the Storm of Chaos then brings the 7th edition where the storyline progresses. And then the 8th edition retcons both Storm of Chaos and 7th edition to create a... Uh, a, a world that was the 6th edition. So, the lore for fantasy is a little bit better of a, a linear timeline where you can just kind of quickly get things. You, you do get some certain stuff that kind of goes off on random tangents that has, like, really obscure lore here and there. But by and large, fantasy lore is, I think, a little bit more digestible. Because it's just, it's clear, cut forward, and there's no... There's no tomfoolery. Yes, Commander. Um, so I think there's, it's, it's important to just kind of look at that on its own merit. I personally, uh, well, yeah, I'm talking about fantasy in specific Duke, Duke Revna, like Warhammer fantasy. Personally though, I like 40k more because I just like, I like Space Marines, I like the quotes, I, I like the world, everything I've just, I've identified with things more from 40k than I have from fantasy. Like, I don't, I don't think I have it, I don't think I have it, um. Just look at the vile thing, show it no mercy. The warp shudders below. If, do you guys do you guys want a little little ASMR reading right now? Oh, I would love I would love I would love to be a voice actor in Space Marine. Even if it's Battle Brother, I am pinned, and then that's it. You know, like I'm, I'm not in it anymore. Let me see if I have this. Um. Let me see if I have it. This is probably one of my favorite things from... Ah, uh, what is the name of that Night Lord's book? The second Night Lord's book. I have the Night Lord's trilogy here. I'll read it. I just fucking... Why am I trying to find a fucking PDF for it? 
Um, this is probably one of my favorite things, and it's it's why I like this ser blood rebirth. That's right. <laughs> it's why I like this series so much. All right, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just grab the actual book and I'll read from the book. Blood River, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me grab it. So, this is, and it's like, like I said, the stories that are told in 40K, you can find more relation to than I find you can more in the fantasy stuff because it's high fantasy and it's really high fantasy. What, what I like about and it's this is something that the horse heresy has kind of explored a little bit more is the kind of emotional spectrum behind space marines they're basically teenagers given superhuman bodies right um you, you look at it and they're like oh okay the here's a super young candidate he an example would be the space wolves he died in battle at a valiant death we're gonna take him resurrect him and put him and make him a space marine so you have these angsty teenagers basically running around the galaxy doing space operas and the, uh, and who are the primarchs other than people with daddy issues you know like it, it's kind of an interesting way to look at it but let me grab this book hold on So for those who don't, who don't know about that, what's this? I don't like whatever that is. I got the, uh, it's my favorite book series, probably ever. So I got the Night Lords trilogy, like limited edition. <laughs> that is just unnecessarily ridiculous. Um, I, I actually, I've never, I've read these books just a long time ago. And the pages, you can see the Night Lord like lightning bolt. Um, like it's like a beautifully bound book and everything. Like it's like denim, and I've never opened this book. <laughs> I got them because I wanted to like eventually reread them, but let me see. Let me see if I can find this, and I'll, we'll do a little ASMR. Okay. More towards the beginning, Sunder. Revenge. Hmm. Basically, he's talking to... I think this was it, I think this was it. I can read this whole chapter to you guys, but it's it's a lot of pages. It's it's 120. It's 13 pages. But let me see if I can kind of get to this. Let me see if I can get at least the gist of it because the ooh, you hear that crack of that thing like opening up all the way. Okay, listen. I mean, I would read 13 pages to you guys if you wanted, but... So I haven't read the Conrad Kerr's book yet. It's good. It's not as good as the trilogy, but it's very good. You read the whole 13 pages?
because crows are often assist associated with plague, dirtbag. And who better to be a father of crows than the master of plagues? Okay, okay. Well, I'll read this page to then give you context on the why I think the next quote is so like poignant. So, um, basically, the main character, uh, if you've never read this book, um, uh, the main character grew up in a hive on Nostromo. Well, he grew up on Nostromo in a hive. I mean, that's kind of the only way to it here, right? And um, basically, this chapter opens up talking about his kind of um, um, his his uh, his his upbringing and how pretty much everyone goes into a gang, and if you don't go into a gang, you die. It's kind of that how it is. And the main character is now back with his mother and the mother is talking, he's talking to his mother basically about, um, the, the mom wants him to go to school and the kid's like, why am I, why, why the fuck am I going to do that? What's the point of that? You know? So, uh, okay, let's just, Zarl, uh, I'm going to mention this in this, Zarl is, a, is another individual who becomes a night lord, another kid that he grew up with. And it's kind of an interesting thing because like that character is a main character in the book. And they've been friends since kids, since childhood. Well, kind of not friends, really, but still. Um, okay, so let's see. Where is it? We'll start right here. The boy's mother was home early. He smelled noodles on the boil and heard her voice humming in the hab chamber's only other room, a small kitchen unit with a plastic, or a plastic screen door. When she came into the main room, she rolled her sleeves down to her wrists. The gesture covered the tattoos along her arms, and the boy never commented on the way she always hid them like this. The coded symbols inked into her skin showed who owned her. The boy knew that at least the boy knew that at least, though he often wondered if well, the boy knew that at least, though he often wondered if perhaps they meant even more. Your tuition academy pre elected me today she said his mother nodding over the uh, the pre-elector it was a blank it was blank now but the boy could easily imagine his tutor's face on the flat grainy wall screen because i'm slow the boy asked why do you assume that because i did nothing wrong i, I never do anything wrong so it must be because i'm slow his mother sat on the edge of the bed her hands in her lap her hair was dark wet from a recent wash usually it was blonde rare for the people of the city Will you, will you tell me what's wrong, she asked. The boy sat next to her, welcomed into her arms. I don't understand tuition, he replied. We have to learn, but I don't understand why. To better yourself, she said, so you can live at City's Edge and work somewhere nicer than here. She trailed off on the last words, idly scratching at the ownership tattoo on her forearm. That won't happen, the boy said. He smiled for her benefit. She cradled him in response, the way she did on the nights after her owner hit her. On those nights, blood from her face dripped into his hair. Tonight, it was just her tears. Why not, she asked. I'll join a gang just like my father. Zarl will join a gang just like his, and we'll both die on the streets just like everyone else. The boy seemed more thoughtful than melancholy. All the words that, all the words that broke his mother's heart barely moved him at all. Facts were facts. It's not really any better at City's Edge, is it? Not really. She was crying now, just as the woman in the alley had cried. The same hollow look in her eyes, the same deadness. No, she admitted in a whisper, it's no different there. So why should I learn in tuition academy? Why do you waste money on all these books for me to read? She needed time before she could answer. The boy listened to her, to her wallow and felt her shaking. Mother, there's something else you can do. She was rocking him, uh, she was rocking him now, rocking him the way she had, she had when he was even younger. If you stand out from the other children, if you're the best and the brightest and the cleverest, you'll never have to see this world again. The boy looked up at her. He wasn't certain he'd heard her right or that he liked the idea if he had. Leave the world? Who will, he almost said, who will take care of you, but that would only make her cry again. Who will keep you company? You never need to worry about me. I'll be fine. But please, please answer your tutor's questions. You have to show how clever you are. It's important. But where would I go? What would I do? Wherever, wherever you want to go and whatever you want to do, she gave him a smile now. Oop, that was terrible, rather. She gave him a smile now. Um, heroes can do. Heroes can do whatever they want. 
A hero? The idea made him giggle. His laughter was balm to his mother's grief. He was old enough to notice it happened, but too young to know why such a simple thing could resonate with a parent's heart. Yes, if you pass the trials, you'll be taken by the Legion. You'll be a hero, a knight, sailing the stars. The boy looked at her for a long time. And then, how old are you, mother? And blah, 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 blah. So, that is like a really like poignant little bit. And it's all as kind of like a big flashback sequence that then jumps forward and this all the way up to the main character's um, servant, Octavia, talking to him, basically kind of saying like, you know, tell me about your youth more or less. And he doesn't necessarily allow this to happen. He kind of, he kind of, um, um, he humors it more or less here and there. Um, let me see that part. Let me find it. I think it's a curse. So then there's this part. Okay, so. Um, so I'll, I'll start right here. Octavia nodded. I told Septimus to deal with this, the warrior nun intoned, but thank you for bringing it to my attention. I will end the situation myself. Will you kill him? He wasn't deaf to the hesitation in her voice. Dead slaves are worthless, he said. However, so are disobedient ones. I will kill him if he forces my hand, but I have no wish to end his life. He is an example of human resistance to corruption, for he was able to sire a child despite decades of life in the bowels of the ship. I'm not an idiot, Octavia. He is, much, he is as much an example as his daughter was. His murder would profit us little and serve only to antagonize the mortal crew. They must be brought to obey through fear of the consequences, not crushed into obedience by hopeless depression. The former breeds motivated, willing, or willing workers who will wish to survive. The latter breeds suicidal husks that care nothing for pleasing their masters. The air between them grew awkward, and Talos, main character is Talos, by the way, grunted in acknowledgement. Will that be all? What awaits us in the maelstrom? What is, what is the hell's iris? Talos shook his head. You will see with your own eyes if the ship manages to hold together for long enough to actually reach the docks there. So it is a dock. It's... Octavia, I'm a warrior, not a scribe or a literist. I lack the words to do it justice. Yes, Hell's Iris is a dock. You say that like it's a curse. I'm a warrior. Octo Octavia licked, licked her lips dry before speaking. What did you want to do with your life? She asked. I told you the truth. Oh, I... Mm, uh, yeah, she asked. I told you the truth. I'd always dreamed of guiding such a warship. For better or worse, fate gave me what I wished for. But what about you? Do you mind if I ask? Talos laughed again, that same whispering chuckle, and tapped the defiled aquila emblazoned across his chest. I wanted to be a hero. A moment later, he masked his scarred face behind his skulled helm. Red eye lenses stared out at her, devoid of all emotion, and look how that worked out. Like, oh, fucking shit, yeah, man. Like... Like, I remember reading that whole little, like, lead up. Hold on. Uh, I, I remember reading all the way up to that point, being like, okay, why did I hear this whole story about how um, his mom and stuff like that, about him being a hero and, and all these things that kind of, I was like, okay, whatever. It's just kind of one of those slow chapters. And then when he ends the chapter with that, and just like this notion of the guy, like kind of pointing to his chest with a big old slash through it, where it's like, holy shit, that was so good and poignant. And that's why, like, I enjoy 40k lore just so much better. The, I, the, I think the Black Library fluff is just way better than fantasy. That's the longest winded answer to what do I like more, fantasy or 40k? Okay, where's the extractor servos? Thank you. Another foul seed claimed. Uh, I'm pissed off that Games Workshop hasn't just canonized Talos and all of them and made uh, Septimus a thing. So, let's see, we gotta pop some bitches over here. That's gonna come up in two turns. Okay, we gotta destroy that blight, that uh, bloom spawn spreader too. Of course, Ken, of course, my man. Out. 
Decimus. Thank you, Decimus. Sorry. Good call, Chris. Let's just kind of get, like, horny with this coverage. So because I'm doing it with, like, the two, they'll have way more, uh, what's it called here? We can go all the way down here. Snag this. This will bring them across from the firing range. We shall bait them, battle brother. Gate of infinity. I oh, the, the ability I don't. Or maybe I do. How dare you, Dark Omen. Oof. Perfect. That's exactly kind of what I wanted. Let them come really close to me, and I'll just butcher them, Battle Brother. I'll see. I, I I think I do have Gate of Infinity. We're gonna check right now. They really, they get a turn. You jerks! I'm just gonna load on you anyway. I don't. I don't. I probably do. I just didn't. I didn't take it, or I'm researching it right now. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going. I'm getting for. It's like let's just get the hell over here. Damn. I can teleport over here. I can't teleport strike. Though. That's unfortunate. Um. I am here to serve. Yes, Commander. Trying to think of how to best to do this. Your orders? Your orders. Okay, so let's do this. Let's pop you from range. Death. And pop you from range. Opening Death. Fire. And the reason is this is gonna free these two characters to kind of get up close and personal now. Yeah. Standing ready. Just, just a little too far to even to teleport strike this damn thing. Five damage to all targets. Um, but if I, I just... Mm, yeah, Tyler, 100% it is. But it's even better. Maybe I silence this, though. Oh, that's the only thing it's got? Psychic spread attack, okay. What is your will? Your command? <sighs> I can, but can't I? I can overcast that, I think. Not overcast it, but. I am here to serve. My okay, well, let's just do this. Ready. This is important. Because I, I, this is just going to spawn more, and I don't need to kill everything. Yeah, so Taylor, the way this works is, I I am I have 100% chance to hit. You just mitigate damage. That's how you do that in this game instead. So I might as well move the full two, move the full up here. Okay, now do teleport strike. Why can't I do that? No, 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 no! Teleport strike. No doggo cam, not yet, man. That sucks. I'm. I might as well do that if anything. Can I not teleport track on this guy? I mean, it's in range. I might as well do this then, get at least some damage on stuff. That 
so sick. Oh, cool. He got it back, which is exactly what I wanted. And now he can just kind of try to burn this thing down. Damn, didn't get a crit on it. Come on. Didn't get a crit on No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. No big deal. I probably should have used that to silence this guy, but that's okay. Um... Purgator? Okay, so Purgator... Shut him down. Apothecary? Now you're out of ammo. I was like, have to reload. Well, we'll do this. Hobble then. They'll go slower. Well, if you onslaught, yeah, that should work actually. Yeah, I just did my. Yeah, there we go. I was afraid it wouldn't actually work. And he auto reloaded. Nice. That's that noise. I think just do it again. Fuck it. Kills him. We are the hammer. And we're disabling Stream of Corruption so that he can't use it on my guy up top to weaken him to reduce his melee damage. Just come up here, whack this guy. Probably uh, the Iron Warriors. It's so bo he's so boring. Um, what's your level? Your level is four. Okay, what's your level? Yours is like six. Yeah, yours is six. Uh, Seven sixty-four. Okay, you are four twenty-five. So if I got you to here, that's one. That's probably another one. Then only one to do damage. I could probably use this stratagem right now and actually kill this thing. And I think we just do it. Or we at least get damn close with it. Yeah. I won't kill it, but it'll get. I'll at least, like. I could force smite it. That's not a bad idea. I might as well kill him. I love that ability, dude. That's so sick. You sons of bitches. Ow, dude. Oh, you jerk! Pharos Manus? Yeah, Pharos is. But I mean, at least he was kind of cool for the split second. Uh oh. Dude, that sucks. Okay, well, we'll just heal up and destroy this thing. You need to get some healing right now. Apothecary, Battlefield Medicine, Warp Charge, just to can top him off. It won't really matter because he's still going to be pretty wounded. Gratitude. Don't 
Yeah, I might as well just. I'm going to use him because then he'll get level uh, more experience out of it. Battle, brother, we have blown up the large pus sack. A battle well fought and won, Commander. We have dealt the enemy a major blow today. It happened. We did it. Oh, oh I just cracked my back. It so good. The way they did that, the animation on that is really cool. I love that. Dude, let's look how sick that fucking paladin is. It was a pipe wrench, not an epitome of intimidation in my book. You're not wrong, Battle Brother. Um, let's see, how is this? Thawne's Glory. <sighs> Set a hazard zone over 30. That's the same, this is Overwatch. There's no real good thing there, that's the level one. Uh, yeah, nothing like, nothing looking great here. This one is like 20%. Yeah, I think. I don't really want a just a car. We have plenty of, plenty of really good ones. So I think we're good there. Manus was just a plot device for Fulgrim. You're not wrong, Battle Brother. You are not wrong. Yeah, because then we can use it for our next thing. Nice. Promotion is available, Battle Brother, for this lovely Paladino. Okay, so. It's already a great ability. <sighs> What's up, Creepy? How you doing, dude? Yeah, the vote's 50-50 right now. I, I mean, honestly... The problem I have with history content is I don't have a means in which to create it. Um, I can write the script, I can do the research, I can record it, no big deal, but to make it interesting to the eye, to make it so that someone wants to stay there and watch it, I, I don't know how I would do it. I could just do basic pictures and just kind of keep having them switch every like seven seconds, something like that, so the eye kind of stays engaged. But it's so much easier when you're playing with the game because the game, the natural movement of the game lends itself to keeping your eye engaged. So it's harder for me to, I'm not an animator. I can't draw anything like a lot of people can. Can't draw or shit. Not even, I can't even poorly draw. That's the problem. <laughs> I think like the variety streamer is something that I want to do more than history because I love history, but it, it can really kind of invite a certain level of toxicity. Yeah, I would definitely probably do that, Shiwan. I could do that, Darknesses, but it's also just not very... It's just kind of hard to do without an editor. Because if the videos aren't making a ton of money... Um, yeah, a lot of, I feel like a lot of people do, Creepy. I feel like a lot of people do. But if the videos don't make a lot of money, it's hard to... Um, it's very hard to justify editors. I, I can't afford an editor right now. A Paladin Minotaur? Pally Minnow? So many glorious eye rolls from that. You son of a bitch. Paladino, I don't know why I've been saying for years. My very first character in EverQuest was a Paladin named Celian. C-E-L-I-E-N. I still like EverQuest. I just actually recently reinstalled Ultima Online. And I am loving the fuck out of it. Done. You know what? Maybe we just do. Yeah, maybe we just try to go into this position. Maybe hammer hand. Arcane weapons is alright. Maybe we do Emperor's Will. Excuse me, guys. Hmm. Alright, he's gonna be up close and personal, so I think we go this direction regardless. 
confirm it. Okay. Eevee only has light wounds? Cool. You got knocked down to 50% health, so I'm surprised it only has light wounds. I really want to play another MMO, but there's nothing out that really kind of speaks to me. What do you mean, Taylor? What could you do what you do now with video game content and do podcast? I, I, anything, I, I would never... So what I'm talking about, those two options, it would be a slow, gradual movement. Probably by this time next year, I would be fully into those avenues. Like... Immortal Empires is coming out. I'm still going to do my normal level of like guides and content and everything like that. I'm just thinking about the future of the channel. I have played tons of F Final Fantasy XIV. Or you just mean XI, the OG one. That, that one's so hard, dude. Okay, so everything should be good to go. Research here. How's this going? Advanced seed extraction. And then I guess we do the next the thing we need to do for um But it's toxic as after this. I remember playing it 20 years ago. Played it when it first came out. Okay, we'll just kind of move a little bit further away. And during these interim periods, I don't like to be on the outskirts, I like to be kind of more centralized. Pause in time. Day 307. Bloom spawn detected. Let's just see what our options are, Battle Brothers. Oh, that one's got a juicy amount of perps. This is for a level 7 Justicar. Let me let me take a look at this. Where is the armory? Armory, armory, armory. 23 days until we have the next report. In which case, we have to get everything to rank three. Rank three is the highest requisition, so we want to get to that. So, one, two, three. So that would go four, five, four. Okay. But you down here? You're just an interceptor. I don't want any of that. What are you on the way over here? Ooh, rank three sword, four sword. That's kind of nice. And an apothecary. Hmm. Dude, judge. I wish that was the case too, man. Fuck, that'd be sick. Yeah, Thomas. That's how I would do it. Is probably just steal images because I don't really have that capability. Danger level medium. Danger level medium. Danger level low. Danger level low. Um. Hmm. We can get a uh, tier two servo skull too. That could be actually kind of nice. It's tier one. Yeah, everything here doesn't look as useful. Fifteen servitors is nice. Do I get any tomes over here or anything like that? One requisition. This is two grimoires, which is nice for because um, I get a percentage increase on my research for having that. Um, I could probably do this. Uh, no, I wouldn't be able to make it. 
don't know. What do you guys think? Where do we go? This will be fully corrupted too. That's going to be kind of rough. Need to do the servitor one or get a harder one? Yeah, I guess we maybe need to. Yeah, we're out of. Oh, we're low on servitors. Not really, though. Just go back to Titan. This area of space sucks. I don't think I've done a blooming mission, but let's go do it. Will Car Clark jumping in with a ch our first donation of the day, man. Question for you make a space room. Chapter, what colors would you use in their backstory? Um, so I had a, I had made one called the Crimson Spartans, and they were going to be a Blood Angel successor chapter with black armor, red, uh, I'm sorry, black, red armor, black shoulder pads and shoulder pad lining. Oh no, black shoulder pad, like the field, and then gold lining with gold helmets. And that they were going to be Crimson Spartans. They were going to be an offshoot of the uh, a successor chapter of the Blood Angels. But I decided to do for the Blood Angels the um, Black Helmet. Oh, uh, let me see what successor chapter. Uh, let me look at the successor name. It's a Black Helmet, Black Shoulder Pads. Nope, 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 nope. 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 It's actually kind of similar to Sons of Sanguinius. I originally wanted to do the Carmine Blades, but white is just so tedious, dude. It is just so tedious. Where are they? I mean, it's pretty... Let's see here. Not Angels Vermilion, because that's green. It was, I think it's now what the Angels and Carmine are. I think the Angels and Carmine are different now. Oh, it's Knights of the Chalice. It's Knights of the Chalice. Because Knights of the Chalice are... It's a, uh, it's a primary successor chapter. So Knights of the Chalice. Oh, it's kind of a cool video right there. I'd watch that video. Uh, look like this. This is Knights of the Chalice. There we go. Here you go. That's Knights of the Chalice. Thank you, Uncle Sam. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate that, man. I got another really cool one on um, what you guys want to see with the uh, what you guys are going to be playing with the the campaigns. Nick Grady sent me a really great um, uh, kind of a, a survey that shows me exactly what you guys wanted to play. It's for, like I think it's got five thousand, six thousand responses on it. I want to look at Doggy again. How much do you need to get a camera for the doggy? <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Another donation from Will Clark. Another 20, uh, um, not Euro, a 20, $20 Australian. I can get Roman. Oh, you look at it. He's looking right at me now. Um, I'll, I'll grab Roman right now. Um, how much to set up a camera for him? I just need to buy a camera for him. I don't have a camera for him. And the problem is I'd have to run the camera from here over to there. What? Want to come say hi, folks? Oh, you sleeping on your little little right now? Where's the boy? Oh, you're so sleepy.
There you go. <laughs> We're about to go back to sleep. About to go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you lay down. Lay down. I'm gonna put him back in really quick because he's he's super sleepy. He was just like he was like passed out. And I opened the door and he looked at me. He was like, I don't wanna I don't wanna come out. Hi buddy. You sleepy bubs? You sleepy? You're so sleepy. You're, look how big you are. You used to fit in like on my shoulder. You used to fit on my shoulder. You still do. You still do. You're still a little guy. Okay, go back to sleep. So goddamn cute. I like rolled up a towel that goes around the corner of his uh, pen, and he just he like he just puts on it and just watches me. I think I think my voice like puts him to sleep because <laughs> he'll be like kind of like ah fuck 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 man I want to get up on a play, and then I'll just start recording or doing whatever, and he'll pass out so quick. Uh, I also whenever I leave the house, I play old fods of my streams. Uh, you will not inflict critical hits. No, I refuse. <laughs> okay, let's swap some of these guys. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, uh... Poor, poor of War Forever. Uh, Timbo, much... Uh, I'd say much more faster pace. Second, responding to this text message very really fast, dude. I would love a forty if if Barkbox did a forty k toy selection. Like, yo, could you please like put? I'll, I'll uh, make a forty k box and I'll put it on my stream. Uh, what do you mean, Tony? Does that work so that you don't trigger those? Or oh, um, so basically this is a bonus mission and it's asking me a glorious deed as a. Uh, a, a special kind of like caveat for this mission you will not inflict critical hits and if you do not inflict a critical hit you'll get plus two requisition i'm not gonna my guys naturally do that so i'm not gonna try to fight that John, I, I think that it, I think that you just can't do it. That you have to avoid it outright. Uh, Ryan, I have done the mission on the craft world, but I've not done any of the bosses outside of that. Oh, the game does stop you? Okay, but not quitting means you can't disable. Okay, okay, okay. So, we'll take the Paladin again, because I need him to level up more. 
No, John, if, if, that, if you've done that, and that's the... Uh, uh, I, I trust your battle, brother. Let's bring... Uh, we can bring Crow again, but... Really, you guys both fucked up? Seamot is crazy. So is Ravenous. What's our other Apothecary, though? When should we have one more? On. He's four. We might as well get him a level. What's his abilities, though? Okay, so he is into Warp Charge here. He doesn't have the cool Servo Skull stuff, but doesn't he have... Yeah, so he's got Warp Speed Biomancer because we were going to make him a Biomancer. Okay. Alright. Armor type. Terminator armor. This? Do I have enough points for it? Yeah. I right, give me that wax mat that wax that max willpower. That's juicy. Range weapon. That's nice too. Using a cyborg gives a chance to give him one willpower. It though. I mean, I, I definitely can. I just don't know if there's a research I'm trying to work on, but eh, screw it. Okay, Warrior at Medic High Soul. Perfect. Um, I don't even know what he had on the other guy. No, Arthesium, duh. Dumbass, Ryan. Do I have a better one though? Uh, it's, I mean, Purge is such a great. Oh, dude, Chris, because I totally forgot about that. <laughs> you out to one of our other purgators. Okay. Whiskers is pretty good. Get him in those levels. What are you wearing again? It's sad. Okay, armor type. Power, he has got Fate's Refuge and I think I only have one good range weapon here. Titan stand, okay. Off night. Load out. Armor type. This. I kind of like Prodigy's Ward more. Oh, this is equipped servo skulls, that's right. Buck Hammer, remember for two months, what about you doing some LAN party or something with Turin? I think you both could benefit from that. You guys, our camaraderie is epic. Yeah, Buck, I'll definitely be doing a lot more stuff with Turin, 100%. Uh, we're definitely going to uh, hit up some action with, um, uh, what's that motherfucking thing? Mortal Empires. You know, I never read them, Duke. I always intended to. Yes, Tony, I'll start hosting Warhammer and Age of Igmar. Uh, Age, of, Age, of Age of Empires um, tournaments again soon. Okay. 
Doesn't he have... This is the guy with... Abilities. And I can't one for a quick range weapon. I love that. No, he has an extra warrior, so I'll take grenades. I have probably limited ammo attacks. Okay, grenades. He's got astral aim, which is good. He does not have... Sanctified kill zone, which is great. Okay. Load out. War gear. Just gotta make sure someone has a... Um, Honey Badger, I, it's good to see you, man. I haven't put any together yet. I got my puppy, and I haven't touched it. But my puppy is now in a stage where... Okay, so we need to get... He's now in a, in a, in a place where he can definitely just kind of chill. So I can play... I can play. I can put together my 40k army now and just kind of... He'll fall asleep next to me. He just, he just wants to be next to me. He doesn't need to be constantly stimulated. <clears throat> so he can be on leash around my ankle laying on the floor next to me while I put together my army. So I'm, I'm very excited to finally jump into it. Okay, we're... I mean, should, I, should I use the other one? No, there's all six. It's fine. I, dude, I can't wait for Dark Tide uh, Revna. I, w I was really bummed. I'm really bummed that it's, that it's moved into November. Um, and I'll be totally transparent with you guys. From a monetary standpoint, it's actually better for me that it's in December because Q4 YouTube ad revenue is amazing for content creators. So it's a brand new game. I'll be able to hit it super hard. My December will be awesome. But I was really looking forward to getting into it in September and jumping into like, because I'm going to restream on both um, YouTube and Twitch because it has a Twitch integration. So this will allow people to use the Twitch integration to vote into the game, which is so good. Are the flamers and silencers good now? I only use side cannons when I played. Um, I don't know. I, I only use side cannons too. Silencers were good. They're so good. We must return his jest with fire and vengeance. Okay. So you can destroy Bloom Spawn. There is one over here on the right. And one over here. Is current is currently like Vermintide then with the Twitch integration then with yeah one hundred percent Dark or um, Will Clark Dark Tide will have that that Twitch integration where you can just kind of fuck with people and I here that's a good question <clears throat> kind of forty k uh, I've got here I'll, I'll show you Grey Knight's Codex, Grey Knight's uh, Combat Patrol. Uh, and also, the people who made this game, they sent me Castalian Crow for free. So that's, that's like a fucking $50, $60 a model nowadays. And a bunch of paints and everything, which I've, I've already have a ton of. But it's just kind of a cool thing. <sighs> okay, so... That, oh, that, I was going to do that. What would you say are the greatest issues with this game? Um, that it, it's... <clears throat> that you don't... You only fight Nurgle. I'd like to fight more of the other demons. I'd like a DLC where I fight other demons. Oh, I'd love it. So, 173 votes. 51% of you say variety gaming streaming guides, um, which I love. 48% of you say history-based content, including lore. I love those things. Would you want to see Vermintide 2? Streams. Integration. Dude, is that a sarlacc? Where did you find it? It looks like a, it looks like a butthole, but I know it's a sarlacc. 
No, Major Milo, what did he what did he talk about? Send me a link, Ken. I'll buy it. Cause I do want to get him a new I want to get him a bed. And I don't so he has a bed in his crate, and he won't what he'll do is he'll scratch it up to roll it like this to then put his head on. Or if he's super hot, he gets under the bed to lay on the plastic surface. Alpost, what's up, man? So would you guys want to see Vermintide 2 streams? I'll restream it on Twitch so we can use the Twitch integration, but basically I would be playing it on YouTube and, and both, basically. <sighs> I, some of that tends on expanding the fat. I would love that, uh, Will Clark. I would love that. Okay, let's go over here to the right first. Interceptor oh down here. God. I love how like the Interceptor just sprints into the fray. Just two swords, buck wild. <laughs> Chris, I like your idea, though, of using the Interceptor with a uh, staff, so that he gets a guaranteed Aegis Shield. Well, not guaranteed, but a, a higher chance. Major Mula, very interesting. I, you know, and do you know why that is? And it's some I so so when I have questions or issues or things I kind of want explained about the channel or YouTube or things I should do in my future, I talk to Spiffing Brit. Spiffing Brit and I have about like an hour conversation yesterday or two days ago, talking about the kind of future. Because I'm like, dude, I gotta pivot. If I don't pivot, I'm gonna just fall into obscurity and I'll never grow. And the reason why larger, why old creators have a hard time growing is because they use the things that the tools that got them to where they were because you, okay that's how any skill set kind of works right you build a foundation and upon that foundation you layer and as you layer you maybe learn new things but youtube is unique and that is part of a youtube algorithm which is thus part of google's algorithm and if you know anything about internet marketing and seo and ppc and all that shit you know that youtube switches their algorithm up very very frequently to prevent people from gaming the system so the youtube algorithm now for the way that visibility is on your titles on your thumbnails on all this stuff on what's pushed out on what impressions you get has changed so much since i started since shadowversary started so it's forcing us to essentially if you look at my most recent thumbnail and title that was something that i shopped up with spiffing bread he was like no you have to remove everything from your title it's got to be three four five six words whatever just fits in that little box enough that people can just see it without it having to have an ellipses at the end and the thumbnail just has to be intriguing enough that you want to read the title it's not about the thumbnail anymore it's about the title i'm like shit this is so fucking difficult no duke there's nothing coming for vermintide 2 that i know of it's just a chance to play vermintide before dark tide so that's a little bit of the insight into the crap I gotta do. Will you do the DLC for Vermintide? Yeah, absolutely. I, I own all of it. Yeah, it's a it's a hundred percent because they're they're doing the same style of content, which is fine. But you might have great content that is gated behind an antiquated form of thumbnail and title, like I have. So it is really, really a, a huge pain in the ass. Are there entire planets that have been conquered by the Chaos Gods? Yes, Matt. There are entire planets and entire systems. And if you go into the warp, there are entire planets dedicated to the gods that change and, and are, are as they're invaded by other demons, they get changed over to that god. Like, they're more malleable than the material world. Interceptor, can you chuck over to here? The, I have... Um, there are videos of mine that I've got that for some reason just all of a sudden get a bunch of views. I'll I'll go change the thumbnail and to, to increase its impressions. And the way YouTube works is if there's a new thumbnail, it doesn't look at it as new content, but it goes, well, your people might have missed this. So I'll push this out to people again. It's it's a constant evolving thing, man. It's really difficult. Black dogs of the false emperor. 100% Seth, 100% my dude. 
Yeah, they do already have the corn assets in the game. In the expansion, you play, you beat a bloodthirster and you fight against blood letters. No, no, no! <laughs> Brothers, strike for the chapter. Battle brother, I am already pinned. I need your aid. Uh, Calamort, and you want to know why that is? Is because by and large, Nurgle is considered the more popular, the most popular uh, 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 the demon thing. Uh, Eli, yeah, I meant the tutorial, the the prologue. Yeah, one hundred percent. Sorry. Your orders. Hugh Gedney, what's up, my man? Good to, good to see you, my dude. I haven't seen you in a bit. Okay, so you need to go... Okay, there's no way around that. So you need to... Uh, movement speed. Medikai Skull. Okay, Battle Brother, I need your assistance. Oh, cool, you can reach him. Let's do a little bit of this, that, that, and this. A little bit of this, this, that, and this. You can't? No, oh, come on. Yeah, then come right back into it. Slice and dice him. <laughs> Love it. Invade our realm. Damn. Uh, probably won't force strike him though. That was a 50-50. Uh, it's not worth doing it. Oh, armor pierce. That's right. Great. Oof. Yeah. That'll shut down his overwatch, which is what I want right here. Before we do this, let me get him. Hey, look how badass he looks. This big old sweet heraldry. Clark, thank you very much, man. You have been making it rain right now. Will Clark has been just throwing donations left and right here. Now, I mean, the DLC that came for Vermintide, different paths with bonuses and boons to your character. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll play it. I, I, I Maybe I don't know which one you're talking about. I think it broke the Overwatch. Yeah. Oh, it did? Oopsies. Well, either way. Ah. <sighs> Could do that one. It's such a it's so sick. For the golden throne. Why can't I use that? Can I be restored in combat? That's right. Delicious. He used it uh, last turn. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to have happen. That was so fucking... Oh, that was so cool. Interceptor still has a million hit points. Denounce! Denounce! What up, Rick? How you doing, dude? Oh, I was looking at his willpower, not his action points. I'm stupid. I don't know if we'll be in range. This should... Astral Aim should do it, right? 100% crit, yeah. I don't know. 
damn it. That was supposed to extract his uh, no thing. match for the Emperor's chosen. No, no worries, man. No worries, dude. I saw you uh, hit me up on Discord too. I'll respond to your Discord when I finish. Thanks, bro. Pin me, you asshole. Thanks, brother. I shall talk to you soon, battle brother. Grey Knights. Cool. For those of you that are members, take a look at those new, sweet, um... Emojis. Those are all little tiny Roman emojis. Unleash <clears throat> me. Will he auto reload? Find out today on Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, supporting fire. Damn it, he didn't. Well, let's just kind of move forward and try and dodge the reinforcements here. Wait, what's up? How are you? Oh! I didn't see how much that is. I gotta put up Streamlabs. We got another donation. I, I say our second donation in that it is the second individual to donate. Will Clark has been making it rain here today, so thank you very much, Will. Eli donated $35. I donated $39, but decided to use the Chaos Gate crit chance calculator. <laughs> thank you very, very, very much, man. Very much appreciated, Eli. Super kind of you, my dude. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. That's not good. Whatever you should. If you guys, anyone do does want to pick the game up, please go ahead and feel free to use my... Um, <sighs> what's it called? My Nexus store. Nexus.gg. Here's a link right now. If anyone wants to pick up the game and support the channel, they can use that link right there. Nope, why did I boot up Escape from Tarkov? That's not what I meant to do. Would you guys want to watch an Escape from Tarkov? Okay, 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 okay. Here, you guys have to watch this. We're going to watch it together. And unfortunately, my friend's, my friend's audio is muted. But, stream... Oh, fix my spine, my posture. I capture. So I'm playing Escape from Targov with my friend. And in this audio, he's basically, we're trying to navigate around um, Interchange. And he has a map up on his iPad, so he's able to like say, okay, let me, let me navigate it. And I will go through what happens here when it happens. But just watch this, watch this. Hugh, have a good one, dude. Thanks for jumping in, my dude. Your work is fun to keep up the good work and the chaos that I just love. Absolutely, Will. Thank you very much again for the donation, dude. You've donated... In total, you've donated 39 or 4686 in US currency. So thank you very much, Will, dude. That's extremely generous, brother. So watch this, watch this, watch this. I can't trust you. This is from his perspective, not mine. And we're on the same team. I'm right behind him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. My God, <laughs> Jesus Christ! You have terrible gun discipline, even in a video <laughs> game. I will never go shooting with you. <laughs> like if you like right here where he goes. Wait, what is it? Oh my God! Oh yeah, I didn't see the left mouse button oh hits keyboard. My... Yeah, he's. Oh. My... He goes. Okay, I know where to go. Let's go. And he just goes slam, and he just nearly fucking shoots my head off. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Oh, we're, we're wearing headphones. Oh my god, it's so funny. It was so funny. God. Jesus. Oh my god, that was so funny. What dark type class intrigue you? Um, probably, the, yeah, the Casterkin looks the most fun to me. Dude, I was like, there, when he, sh you see when he shoots, I just like, uh, that's a good thing I put his shield on him. When he shoots, I, I like, I pause, like he shoots and I'm like, oh my God. Like, it, it took me by surprise. I was like, I can't fucking believe you just did that. We have definitely shot the shit out of each other. Granite skull cap, wouldn't that be great? Just like a little like servo ones that they were like Battle Brother. Oh my god, this has gotten horny. This is not a good fight. I'm in the I'm we are pinned here, brother. Alright, we're gonna need to get real wild with this. Cool, so we can extract that from him. What why not? We're in range, it ignores everything. God. Yo, I th I think we get real wild with this. Can I reach him? Oh, dude, we're about to we're about to turn this guy into fucking putty. Okay, so we're gonna come up here. You should be able to see from here to do this. Good, yes, confirm that. Extract that seed. I have claimed this wretched bloom essence. Like you do, like you do, like you do, like you do. Blinded is for range, right? Okay, so. You see what's about to happen here? Oh, yeah. Pure Enjoy this warp energy. speed. I'm gonna juice you out, my guy. Might as well just get the, the bonus here, just to do a ton of damage. <laughs> or the bonus, I mean, killed this thing. My focus fails me. Oh, even better. Oh, battle brother. Battle brother. to the unworthy. That is exactly why you use that ability. Can you can you do it again? Can you even can you make it can you make it double the horny? Oh. Oof. None may hide from our warp sight. He didn't crit, but man, if he had critted right there, he would have killed him. He would have just killed both the Terminators in one round. Eli, what are you going to Iraq for? Are you, are you a government contractor? <gasps> are you in Marsoc? I know, that's not how that works. I'm just being a shitlord. I think I should honestly probably take care of this guy. Uh, My blade is mm, This is probably not gonna go well. 50-50. Oh! And he's purged. We slay the darkness. Let's 
exactly what I want. Yeah, 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 disable the, the melee weapon. Because he would have done a lot of damage to my, my, uh... <laughs> Get fucked, dude. I am the wrath of I'm not worried about these little guys. Okay. So let's try, what is this over here? Okay, cool. Um... The That'll just kind of give us, we'll stall him out a little bit. Are these my little pony emojis? No, it's my dog Roman, Travers. How dare you, dude? What is your will? Your, your jokes have gone too far. I'm here to serve. Taking position. The reason I'm doing that is the willpower is really important for this character. Oh, no, I should have bought, mm, didn't think. So the reason I'm doing this is because he has Biomancy, so I might as well get all the benefit out of it. My blade is ever ready. Seeking the taint. No devil shall elude my gaze. Yeah, I just might as well. He gets more damage and everything out of it, so it's it would have been useless to not do that. I really want a librarian. It's like the only game, only universe you can be like, dude, librarians are fucking cool. How dare you, bro. Alright, so that's all the reinforcements, which is actually kind of nice. What's the big difference between streaming on Twitch versus YouTube? So, YouTube's streaming platform isn't necessarily fleshed out. Um, so there's that. What is your will? And it is also worth noting that I think you're pretty close to a level. No, you're not. Uh, but you are, I know for sure. Who's the emperor? Um. Oh, dude, you're like on my ass, aren't you? Um. So there's low discoverability, Power. meaning that on Twitch, it's like a. It's like a very like okay, it's all fleshed out and everything like that, and you can like. Hold on, sorry. There we go. Um, I'll restart that question once I finish this round. The emperor lights our path. Denounce. Blessed are our arms. Either one buck, either one, probably, probably YouTube I until I make like the full transition. Like you're in the, you're in the right place, man. Don't you, don't worry about it. And, and like I've, like I've always said, any kind of support is, is amazing. So don't worry about being on the best platform. I guess we don't really need to attack that thing. Ah! 
Oh, the interceptor's so good. Okay, um... Oh shit, this guy snuck up on me. Son of a bitch. So, YouTube is really great for VODs, but when it comes to streaming, it's just... It's not very strong. And the problem with YouTube is its notification system is very haggard. It sometimes will go out, it sometimes won't. It just kind of depends on whatever that plaf the platform wants to do that day, which is a huge issue for me because, again, that's how I get my income, is people watching my videos. So that bothers me. Um, oh, dude, you're about to just get one-two punch right there. Oh. Um, so that bothers me. Twitch, if you're on Twitch, it will give you the notification no matter what. But the problem is, it's it's easy to get discovered on YouTube. It is not easy to get discovered on Twitch. So you might have a really cool, great uh, stream, but it's just too hard for people to find you. So you kind of slip into obscurity. I have the benefit of people already knowing who I am and I already kind of exist in, in this space in some way, shape, or form, right? So um, I can benefit from that in that I can grow a Twitch pretty easily. Um, also, when it comes to monetizing stuff, like, yeah, YouTube, I have VODs and stuff like that, but Twitch, I have so many ways to give back to you as a viewer. Special emojis for members, special emojis for people who donate. Um, I can give credit to anyone who makes art for the channel, stuff like that. Dude, I'll low cut this shit, dude, Jason. There's like a little, little, little booby action right there. Dude, put a pencil in here. I'll just fucking sharpen that shit. Yeah, that's the problem is, um, it's, it's like impossible to, to reliably get notifications about channels unless you turn on that bell icon. Because the bell icon, it surpasses the, um, It surpasses the. I have sanctified my realms. <sighs> surpasses it, overrides the, the algorithm for the notification. So if you aren't watching Total War content or Crusader Kings content or Bannerlord content, you will not get notifications of my content, unless you turn on the um, notification thing. Twenty dollar that goes into my shirt. Right, Ganon? I just had the maid by the same gentleman who makes the uh, um, the hold screen. Vengeance. Vengeance. Let's get a better angle on this attack here, please. Oh, dude, you your your goose is cooked, brother. Dude, he loved. Here, let me let me upload this to my to my Google Drive, and we'll we'll watch the video of him in the pool for the first time. We went to my parents' house, and I put him in the pool. Okay. Yes. Oh, he's a good boy. Put under the drive. Okay. One sec, that'll upload to my drive, and we'll watch that video Luxurious, together. Luxurious, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> he heard my voice. He's like. Yeah, the only way to really, like, that, that's probably, oh yeah, did he, he just sat on my, like my brother's dog was there, and I put him on my lap, like this with my arm around him, and he just put his arms on my arm, and he just sat in the pool with me. He likes it, he loved it, he wants more of it. Yeah, if you do want the more most reliable way to get uh, notifications of both the stream and of uh, videos I upload, join the Discord. When one idea for historical content, many ancient medieval history channels use Total War game footage for their background visuals. I've been wondering why no one uses Bannerlord game footage yet. Um, Turin, it would actually be really good for uh, any kind of antiquity because you have the means to show off all of those really cool uh, Roman armors and stuff like that. On that note, let me go pee real quick, guys. One sec.
Yeah, uh, Ganon, that was called, uh, <clears throat> that History Channel was called, uh, not Time Travelers, fuck, I can't remember. Yeah, I love that. It, um, they used Total War Warhammer, or Total War Warhammer, it was Total War Rome 1, do like the Battle of Cain and stuff like that. Actually, turn, you know what they use? They use Modified Attila. Time Commanders was great. No, oh, I think maybe I'll just frag grenade it. No, that's not really that worth it. Hmm. How dare you? Oh shit. You're in a precarious position, Battle Brother. Good thing I use that Aegis Shield. over a barrel. Getting our Theseum right in the leg. Oh, feels good, battle My battle. wrath is restored, brother. Do that again. My paladin's gonna come just tap that ass. Ain't guest starring lizards, ancient aliens for total, for total War Warhammer using ancient alien er, to show ancient aliens using Total War Warhammer. That'd be so funny. Uh, by the way, I love ancient aliens. That's probably one of my favorite shows, to be honest. Like, there's just something about like that premise of just ridiculousness that I love. I, I love it. Uh, the ancient astronaut theory predates that man was able to walk on the moon. If you go to Teto Echo, which I know is a Total War Warhammer character, there is clear evidence that they used a spaceship of some sort to traverse the stars. It's like, oh my god, I love everything you're saying right now. Like, I, I think the majority of stuff on Ancient Aliens is very crackpotish, but then when they kind of talk about stuff, um... Oh, shit. I, I kind of... There are some things that, like, definitely kind of pique my interest, like... Okay... What the hell was the point of this thing? How are these things so, like, accurately cut? Stuff like that. Like, I love that stuff. Oh. Hmm. 
Oh, you guys are going to be in a world of hurt. My blade is yours. Like, I don't know if I really look at it as like, yeah, this is, this is proof. Aliens were here. But there's definitely things that I'm like, that's pretty fucking crazy. Let me get that little. Let me sup it. This is coming with me. What is your will? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah it's not like uh, that's kind of wild. Like, I, I definitely know it's not truth, but it's fun to watch from that from that like kind of scope, right? Like, oh, what is this really? We'll charge the shit out of this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so that is that was so gratifying. It put look. I just cleared the whole field. Oh my god, that was fucking cool. What is your will? The emperor lights our path. So what's the problem here? Why can't you? Oh, he's fully behind cover. He is fully occluded, as they say. That's not gonna knock him back. Why do you have a weird glowing aura? Strike first. Or apparently not. That mean will survive us all. It truly will. Oh yeah, for it. Oh, good call, Mr. Etheric. Nice, that's what I want. I want to just get rid of the, the Terminator first and foremost. Not, <coughs> not as worried about that guy. <coughs> Ooh. Damn. Alright, I'll just smite him down. Brothers. On my way. Oh. They just to start farting. Here. That, that auto fire is so good. We haste. 
I'm trying to just get more experience with some of the characters that kind of need it. Feel my rock. <laughs> Gonna be, it's gonna be horny, all right. I have sanctified my rounds, seeking the tainted. At your service. I am here to oh. serve. What is your will? Unleash me. These wounds will heal. Gratitude. They're dude sand pirate. They're so Stand good, man. Me. My blade is ever shield. Praise the Emperor. The Emperor. Oh man. Eamon with the largest donation of the day, the heftiest donation, the biggest of dickest, the $50 donation here from Eamon. Thank you very, very, very much, dude. That's absolutely huge, dude. Thank you so much, man. Like, I cannot explain to you how much that helps right now. Thank you, thank you very, very much, brother. Whew. That is... I'm not going to cry, but thank you very much. Silver Knights. What's the greatest threat? Tyranids. We Even the Necrons are afraid of Tyranids. That should save them. Thank you very, very much, man. I, I'm, I'm a big believer that... So... Oh, big stretch. The 10th edition... So we've got uh, Karn coming back, right? Karn, not Karn the Betrayer. Uh, Buck, Hummer, a $10 donation. Keep up the great contents party. Guys, thank you so much today. You guys, I, I kind of just threw this stream together. I was like, well, I kind of want to stream. I don't really know what to do. I'll throw something out there. And you guys have just been so generous today. Like, it, it's honestly amazing. Thank you very, very much, guys. Like, it is so huge. It is so, so, so huge. Um. In 10th edition, they're supposed to be doing the Blood Angels. Uh, the rumor is that Blood Angels are going to have a starter box with the Tyranids, and the Blood Angels are getting a ton of new Primaris models, which sucks because I'll probably start collecting Blood Angels again. Um, I was saying that since Korn gets Angron back, it's now three Primarchs to one. Yeah. Magnus, this guy, this dude, um, not Typhus, that's his, that's his, that's the captain. Um, oh my god, man. Who is the leader of the fucking Death Guard? Mortarian, thank you, Morty. Mortarian and Angron. And then we have Robut Giamon. Um, so, the Blood Angels... Are you the Dark Lord of the Grey Knights, Ryan Mortarian? <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing, Turin? Everybody say hi to Nick. Everybody say hi to Turin. So, 10th edition is supposed to bring the dark, the Blood Angels. You don't get Sanguinius back, but there, it's, you're supposed to be getting the Sanguinor as the direct embodiment of Sanguinius. So the spirit of Sanguinius is coming back. That's what it's supposed to say. Uh, Stephen Leggett said the info was that it's not specifically Blood Angel, just red painted generic Marines versus Nids. The new Primaris were quite melee focused, hence the red. That and the BR <laughs> Blood Angels are the greatest. No, no, there's the, there's a whole bunch of new, um, a whole bunch of new Blood Angel models, new, new um, Death Company, new um, Sanguinary Guard, a a uh, not Ball Edition Dante Primaris, Dante Primaris, which has apparently been done since 2017. They just haven't rolled it out. 
Um, also, what the hell is the name of it? There's the one dreadnought that the Devastator, the the Devastator dreadnought or whatever. Oh, I want fucking Roman's pubes in my mouth. Um, with the frag cannon, the Furioso. Yeah, apparently they're getting a Furioso um, Primaris dreadnought. New Dante model is coming. Apparently, Yaman. Apparently, it is coming. Also, um, I want the lion to come back because the lion has healed. He said he. It says he is healed and he's just waiting in the rock now. Like the fuck, man. Ken, with a forty dollars donation as well, my turn to tithe to the Spartacus Imperium. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Swinging in here, squeezing down a, a donation as well. Extremely generous, guys. Thank you so, so much. It's confirmed that about being Spirit of Sanguinius, it was speculated that it's possible the Angel, the Proto Primark, became mad that got caged. The one that's in um, Fear to Tread. Oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't see that. That's a. Con I didn't see that. There, that I thought you said it's, or that is confirmed. It's is that confirmed? Um. That is the rumor. That's that's the rumor that is what is coming is Sanguinor is the embodiment of the spirit of Sanguinius. Not that it's confirmed. That's the rumor. You know, he doesn't like him, but they at least... I think that's the interesting thing about Guillemin and the Lion is that they are on the same wavelength. Right? They both want the same thing, just different. Where the fuck is my? Oh, okay. So the Purgator is out of stupid. Um, they both kind of want a specific style of Imperium. Uh, there was, there's been a rumor since there was a rumor that if Angron comes back, Lehman Russ would come back, and there was a rumor by a, a GW insider that stated that. Um, Let's just get you up here. That uh, that Lehman Russ is coming back and he's going to look like Odin. He's going to have an eye missing and he'll be old man, old man Russ. And I'm I'm quite cool with that. I would love that. Oh, that was pretty sick. Oh, that was pretty not sick. That was rough. Maybe we do maybe we do a Valrak stream where we just talk about 40k stuff like that. The Emperor lights our path. Yeah, that's an old rumor though. That old man Russ rumor is old. Like let me see. Um Sanguinor rumor 10th edition. So let me read this. God, I hate Bella Lost Souls. This is the fucking worst. So this is a Reddit post from a burner account, Space Marine Codex 2.0, because apparently their earnings are low, but I don't know. Their earnings report just came out, and it's probably amazing. Um, adds Jump Assault Infantry in a Shadow Spear style release with World Eaters. Primaris, ter Primaris Terminators held back for 10th edition. 10th edition starters feature Blood Angels and Tyranids, New Primaris Terminators, Jump Death Company, Captain and Sanguinary Priest, and then Brood Lord, New Gene Stealers, Macrofex, Hypergaunts, Zornthrope HQ, Blood Angels Faction release, including a Sanguinor, Primark Avatar of Sanguinius, lots of cherubs, Dante, model has been ready since 2019. Oh, sorry, not 2017, 2019. Death Company Chaplain, Furioso Redemptor, that's the, the primary shred knot, Sanguinary Guard, and then an upgrade sprue. Tyranid car uh, a uh, thing will include Macrofex Old One Eye Macrofex Size, Hypergaunt Swarms 105 millimeter base, New Gene Sealers, New Hormagons. That's the big 10th edition rumor um, that's supposed to be coming in the beginning of 2023. Um, and let me see uh, Lehman Russ rumor Odin. Maybe, that, maybe that'll get it. Now, this is back like 2018. And I did a video on it. Was it Demon Primark? No. That's stupid. 
No, I can't find it. But yeah, I, that the rule that that was the big rumor that that was going to happen. What about your favorite part? I actually, I, I he's not my he's not my least favorite Nick Lorgar. He's gotten so much better when you read the the, the novels about him. Um, my least favorite is is the fucking steel or the Iron Warriors one. He's so boring. He didn't have anything. He even, he even has a book about him and it's boring. Eamon with another 50. Eamon has donated $100 today. He is the biggest dickest, the big dick daddy from Cincinnati. Actually, really, I hated, I really hate, um, though, a chaplain. The chaplain from the Word Bearers. I can't think of the name of. Yeah, Perturabo. F fuck Perturabo. He's boring, dude. Perturabo blows. What is cool about Perturabo? Tell me one thing that's cool about Perturabo. Um, Eamon said, yes, <laughs> I would love to see the lion come back. Luther is also alive and apparently out and about and more fallen would also be a great turn for the setting. Do you think we will get DLC for the other chaos gods or chaos? I hope we do, dude. I hope we do. Erebus, Erebus. I hate Erebus. Corfadron is okay. He's fine. Less anxiety for Sparty. Love to see it. Word bearers. Let's go. <laughs> Eat from this rot. I, I definitely want to see at least corn because the assets already exist. They're all just children. That that's what I was saying earlier. That um, space marines are are teenagers given superhuman bodies. He designed the trap the trapped Vulcan for the Night Hunter that then Vulcan made his way out of. So that's my point. What do you mean you'll challenge me later, Dark? How dare you, dude? How dare you? Okay. Well, uh, I gotta find a good rod, right? Uh, wh which which part is that, Dark Omen? When they're fighting and and um, Korax almost fucking kills him. Okay, I need to focus here. Sorry, guys. Um, we'll do this. Yeah, that one is sick. I just don't have it. This is blinded. Okay, so that's range. Okay, no big deal. Is it armor break? That's pretty quick. That's pretty sweet. It's a queef. Focus. Uh, is this? No, when Hor Horus demands Lorgar picks up his weapon and fight. Where, where, where are we talking about with that? Dark. I'm confused. I, I just can't remember, so you have to remind me. It has been literally lots of years My since I've read ever. any of those books. Yes, Ooh, a knockback. Okay, it's gonna get them both. Later. Yes, sir. I love that. I love what I just did there. We have Praise the Emperor. Glenn B with a $20 uh, Aussie donation saying some dollary dues for you Dante going Primaris hasn't been covered in the books yet has it? No, no um, I think a lot of us th thought that was going to happen at the end of um, the devastation of Ball but he kind of like gets wheeled back to life by You okay, bub -bub? Uh, he kind of gets wheeled back to life by like a combination of Sanguinor or Sanguinius spirit. He's like, he's like, let me sleep, father. And he's like, you're not going to sleep. Get up. Let me. In fact, you guys want some more reading ASMR? I don't know if I have it here though.
Dude, this was actually a really good book. If you have not read Devastation of Ball, you definitely need to. You don't even need to be a Blood Angels fan. It's just a really cool, like, epic, like, like Helm's Deep stand against uh, uh, Skaven. Tyranids. <laughs> okay, let's see. The Cisatrix Maledictum had opened. This is like kind of towards the end. There are a lot of really good quotes in this book. Uh, I'm going to read you guys this. This is like a... This, is, this isn't the quote I'm looking for. But this is his like... This is, we're going to get to where I want, but this is, this is really good. Okay, when the last reverberations died away from the cathedral stone and Dante spoke, his voice was strong and clear, free of doubt and despair. All who heard it felt their blood stir. There is always beauty, even in the depths of ugliness, even in the depths of defeat, said Dante. Your song raises us all above this realm of earthly flesh, for we who, for we are angels and warriors in equal part. Our devotion to our emperor and our gene father is a paragon to which the citizens of the Imperium have long aspired. Now we stand upon the brink of death. This will not change. I say let us not go into the long silences of history, but stride forward into legend. If the Tyranids remained without guidance, we might survive here, behind the walls of the heavenward redoubt. But they reorganize. The hive mind is disrupted no longer. Our librarians, our libra our librarians report the shadows the shadow falls once more. It is weak, but it grows stronger with every passing minute, coalescing around one potent nexus. If this is allowed to continue, the Tyranids will become of one mind again, and they shall attack without mercy, and we will perish here within these walls. We have no notice of the fleet. The void is awash with the energies of the warp. If we strike down their leader, we may deal the swarm one fatal death blow and save the worlds beyond ball. His voice caught. He recovered quickly. In this way, we will win a victory of sorts. We will most likely die in the attempt. Millions of them remain, scant thousands of us. If we stay behind these walls, they will overwhelm the last of our defenses in a few days. This is the only way. The shadow in the warp is a many-headed monster, more ferocious than the Hydra of ancient tales, for it has a billion times a billion heads, and all must be severed before it will die. We have the blades. We have the will. Let us carve the skulls of this creature. Are we not the sons of the great angel? Are we not the most blessed of all Adeptus Astartes? He let the question hang on the air unanswered. Our Primarch was among the first to die, but he lives eternal in all of our beings. The meat and blood of our bodies are his host. For 10,000 years, we have protected his legacy within the fortresses of our bodies. He bowed his head. That time is at an end. We are all death company now. The sarcophagi lie shattered. Their, ooh, 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 ooh. The, we are all death company now. Their, their sar the sarcophagi lie shattered. Their occupants devoured, and our future upon Ball has died with them. The chapter is finished here, but it is not dead yet. Our bloodline may survive in the gene seat of our brothers elsewhere in the galaxy. Uh, in, the, in the gene seat of our brothers elsewhere in the galaxy, it may not. This question of survival is no longer ours to contemplate. Divert your gaze from the future and think of the present, of now, of what we might accomplish in these next glorious hours. For if we must go into the darkness of extinction, let us do so with our swords in our hands and the wrath of Sanguinius in our grasp. When tidings of this battle reach the other worlds, let them lift up their guns and say, We shall not fall. We shall not die meekly. Through battle we remember the honor of the sons of Baal. His voice raised. Who will say I? Who will raise his sword with mine? Who will bring burnished steel and wrathful soul to the slaughter and let us red ruin flow? I'm sorry, and let red ruin flow. Who will die in, the remembering, in remembering our Lord? Our flesh may be devoured, but they cannot touch our souls. We are the most blessed of the Emperor's warriors. The soul of our Lord lives in the minds and the hearts of every one of us. We, the red-clad, the blood-hungry. We, the wrathful and the pure. 
We, the sons of Sanguinius, most noble and glorious of all the Primarchs, we hold more than his memory in our hearts and minds. The great angel would not lurk here, waiting for his end. He would strike out, seeking to destroy the leader of his armies, as he did when he confronted his brother Horus. His voice lowered. Such a choice is now ours, as it was our father's. If we do this, we shall all surely perish. But Baal may yet escape, and play host to Space Marines still. You and I will not be among them, but the name of the Blood Angels and the score of other chapters who fought with us here will yet be known across the galaxy. Dante paused and reached behind his head. Seals hissed as, his un as he uncoupled the death mask of Sanguinius, exposing his aged face proudly to his brethren. For a millennium, I have worn this mask so long that mortal humans on a thousand worlds equate Dante with Sanguinius. One has become the other. I have no need of a mask any longer. I need not wear our Lord's face. He is in here, in my heart. Or in my hearts? Oh yeah, in my hearts. Yeah, he's got fucking two hearts. He's a fucking space marine. Um, he banged his fist against his chest. I reveal my face to you, long hidden for shame of the weakness age reveals. I shall wear this mask when I fight, in honor and of our Lord. But I go into the final battle... Not as a poor facsimile of our father, but as a commander. Luis Dante, son of Baal, son of the great angel, whose living body is the host of the Primarch. He paused. Two thousand black helmets looked back expectantly. What say you, warriors of Baal? And, uh, he said in a ferocious whisper that rose in volume and power, that we slip the red thirst one final time and fly upon wings of wrath with our lord unto battle? I commend you all, O ye mighty, to the protection of the great angel. For the emperor, for Sanguinius, there is no more beauty to be had from life, so to let us then to seek a beautiful death. A beautiful death for the emperor, for Sanguinius, the doomed angels shouted. Their voices shook the ruins of the Basilica Sanguinarium. Dante nodded, satisfied. Then we march. All of us who bear the blood, Chaplain Ordmael, summon the uh, Amerian guard. Open the gates of the Tower of Amero. <laughs> Let the damned march with the damned. Like, it's probably one of my favorite parts in this book. Because everyone paints their armor black. Every he's like, we're all death company now. And in, um, uh, yeah, he's a part of uh, Imperium Nihilus. Uh, the Tower of Amareo is where all the Death Company are housed in between engagements. Like, oh, you know, someone went to the Death Company, we put them in the tower, then we, we send them out and they go die in honor. And in this moment, he's saying, we're all going to wear black, we're all painting our armor, and then we're going to take the other uh, uh, Death Company and we're sending them out with us. Including, like, basically, like, the Chaos Spawn, Death Company, huge mongrel beasts. They're basically, like, giant bat, bat vampires. <laughs> kind of. Uh, but there's a part here. Yeah, they just kind of, they just keep, they keep yelling rage as they go charge into the, the... It's definitely, like, a full-on, um, Helm's Deep moment. It is so good. Oh, let's see here. The Regent of Imperium Nihilus is indeed what it is. Yeah, so here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what I meant to say. This is the part I meant to get to. Sorry, guys. I hope you're liking, I hope you're liking the reading from a book history time here. But, kind of having some fun. So, my son, Sanguinius said, my greatest son. The Primarch reached out to him. Dante was on his back, but at the same time, it was, if, it was as if he floated in an immense void, and Sanguinius hovered in front of him. And yet, when the Primarch cried, his tears fell forward onto Dante's face. All reality's order was disturbed, but this felt like no dream or vision. When Sanguinius' glowing fingers traced the line of Dante's cheek, they were solid and warm, and they brought into him a sense of peace and holy joy. You have suffered greatly for mankind's sake, said Sanguinius. His voice was beautiful. Since Sanguinius, period, there's a period on a comma there, his voice was beautiful. You have won your rest a thousand times. Rarely has one man given so much, Luis of Baal Secundus. You have been a light in dark times. <clears throat> I would, give you, you, I would give you any reward. I would take you to my side. I would free you from strife. I would release you from pain. 
Yes, yes, Dante said. Please, I I have served so long. Grant me the freedom of death. Sanguinius gave Dante a look of profound sorrow. I cannot. I regret that I can do none of those things. I need you, Dante. Your suffering is not done. Sanguinius gripped Dante's face in both hands. Strength flowed from the Primarch, driving out death's comfort and replacing it with pain. The scene rippled. He heard the shouts of space marines, felt the ghostly touch of living hands upon his armor. Sanguinius faded. faded. Please, no! Dante cried out. Please, my lord, I have done enough. Please, let me rest. The light was dying. Sanguinius' smile carried with it the sorrow of 10,000 years. Darkness was returning. The great angel disappeared into it, but his glorious voice lingered a moment. I am sorry, my son, that you cannot rest. Not yet. Live, my son. Live. Dante returned to life, screaming from the mercy of death, like... Fuck! (laughs) So, he, I guess, will now become Primaris. Yeah, like, it's, it's so, like, it's so, not, like, disheartening, but it's so, like, oh, man, he just... It, that whole book, it talks about how old he is and how he still has, like, the ability to kind of move around and be a badass, but he's just tired. He's just tired. And you get, like, a world weariness so many times in the way he delivers himself and the way he's, like, I'm so sick of dealing. Not even sick. He's just, like, I, I've dealt with this stuff so many times through all the different people. So you get this, like, this definite sense, like, wow, he just, he longs for death. And it's cool to see Sanguinius kind of go, like, yeah, I know you want it, but you you can't. I need you. Holy shit, I didn't know, I forgot that was going to happen. So, I definitely want to see Dante Primaris come to the fore. Is there, like, a warp charge where I can just, like, do it in an AoE heal? That'd be great. Among impurity. My blade is yours. Where is my paladin? He's all weakened still. That was such a good, like, all the characters are in it. Like, there's a part where <clears throat> Mephiston, like, he flies up in the air and then like detonates a whole ton of um, uh, the flying gar- gargagons, gargoyles, Tyranid gargoyles, whatever the flying the flying Tyranids are. This is the, cl- clearly the the sign we make for that. I should have done this first. I'm dumb. Brothers, I have marked our target. Mm, brothers. I think he does. Doesn't he, Lebow? Doesn't he, Lebowski? They, they have a they have an exchange. Guillemon tells him a bunch of Guillemon tells him a bunch of things. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'll tell you that right now. We're gonna get to the bottom of this together, guys. Let's just finish this. Let's just let's just be done, brother. Yeah, it's also kind of I kind of what I don't like about the book is it wraps up a little too nicely in that the end he goes, "Okay, so I know you guys were killed to pretty much a man. Here's all the Primarius blood angels to replenish pretty much everyone that was killed." Good show. The source of this corruption has been cleansed. Mercy in death. Well, Steven, he's also the oldest space marine in existence. I can't remember who's number two in the book. I think it's the I think it's the the ultramarines um, librarian is second oldest or some shit. I can't remember. <clears throat> well, dreadnoughts don't care. No, don't count. Don't count. That's what I meant. Yeah, I mean, he's the actual oldest living space marine. Dreadnought is... Eh, they kind of go in and out of... Uh, they're not like... Sure, they're space marines, but... You ever, read, like, you ever watch or read anything about those 
watch. You ever read anything about the uh, the dreadnought? So like they're sleeping most of the time because they are in a sarcophagus. It, dude, I love those when um you've got Battle of the Fang, and it's Bjorn who kind of comes out and he kind of talks about um he talks about Lehman Russ and everything like that. Like that is probably some of my favorite parts of of the Fang. The HH War? What's the HH War? Horse Heresy? Had not been completed before. Yeah, I had. Devastation of Ball is like current timeline. All right, Dark Omen. Thanks for jumping in, my man. Yeah, you know, like the people, like all of the. All of the dreadnoughts, they're very wispy. They're very, quite literally ethereal in their in their mindset. They're very, very few are cogent. And some of the, uh, the oldest living space marine is Dante. Bjorn is a dreadnought. So he's, half the time he's asleep. He's not an actual space marine anymore. Like, I think there's a hard distinction between the two. Because they they live more in memory than they live in actual actuality. Some of some of the um, dreadnoughts are a little bit more present because they're not old. They're um, they're younger. Like oh, he, he's been interred in a dreadnought for like a hundred years, but he's a two hundred year old captain or some shit. Oh yeah, yes, correct, correct, yeah, correct, Ken. Back in the box. Okay, Demon Bane. This is five. I mean, I think we're just gonna. What is this? That's kind of nice, but I could not have that and be good with it. Yeah, Steven's got a point. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty much okay with everything I've got until we start getting rank 3 armor and stuff. I'm gonna hold on to it anyway, too. Ooh, wounded and wounded. Yeah. Interceptor got beat up, but he got a promotion. Oh, that's actually... No, we're going to do this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, shit, no. So now, autos have plus one use turn. So if I want to warp around, I'll get even more. Actually, maybe I do that. Because willpower is a definite sink for him. He's not going to be in the fight for much... Like, he'll be in the fight, of course, longer. I just mean he's not going to... I'm not going to fight with him anytime soon. What's up, Nightmare? How you doing, dude? Yeah, they... But John, they don't like they do it on dire circumstances. They don't do it like, hey, we're gonna have a council meeting. Did you want to step in on this one, Bjorn, or did you wanna did you wanna email in uh, after the fact? Like Bjorn is woken up in dire circumstances. These? Yeah, I do want these for sure. Hammerhand's great. Maybe do that in Hammerhand. Warp isn't an auto. Uh, Ryan, this is a war this is what I was talking about. Teleport boost. This is an auto I was I was uh, talking about. No, no, Steven, have at it, man. Feel free. Feel free. Four level four four high level interceptors with teleport strike and, and uh, uh, willpower buffs, yeah, hundred percent. A story time with Uncle Bjorn every what is it like a hundred or five hundred years? Yeah, like when they when they do the um, the Great Hunt and they bring him out and he's like, "Let me tell you the story of when we got a DUI flying around through the Obscurus Segmentum with the Lehman Russ because he just couldn't fucking keep his liquor straight." Like, yeah, a uh -huh, hundred percent. They always like they wake him up for a little tale or two. They put Grandpa back to bed, basically. Like, 
I, I definitely don't think there were that I would call a Dreadnought a Space Marine as far as like, especially the older ones that are basically just, it's it's more akin to like a Death Company soldier who like sees more the fight between Horus and Sanguinius and less the actual real world. So as far as the Blood Ravens, do you have any theory as to origin or who their Primarch is? I kind of like the theory that they're actually part of, um, they're either a part of um, the Thousand Suns that were um, it's true, <laughs> this was are pretty weird. I, I like the theory that the Blood Ravens are actually part of the Thousand Suns and when the Thousand Suns defected they were actually still loyal so they just put them into their own chapter. Um, I like that theory. There's another theory that they're part of one of the fallen Primarchs and they were kind of whisked away. Like like the the two uh, destroyed Primarchs or lost Primarchs. The two Primarchs that were clearly killed by Lehman Russ and then the soldiers were then converted on over into the Ultramarines. The Carcharodons are loyalist night lords. <clears throat> Is that a thing? I didn't know that. Yeah, Steven, that's 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 like Blood Angel. Right? The the one at the uh the bottom of like the repository that I was just talking about. Like he just sits there and guards the relics. <laughs> what are you here for, Dante? Just to get a relic, then take it and leave. Okay, I think, so for our Paladin, do we go down to Hammerhand? That can be done like that. Or, see this guy's got Focus, which is great. Or do we go up towards this and try to get the shield abilities? I'm kind of cool with the shield abilities, they're pretty sweet. You do that, and we get this. So the shield now gets me one more armor. I can set an area over three and get an armor or check any area of the sun. I should just want to really stay for a keg of beer. Dude, my, my back is so tight right now. I don't know. Do you have a, do you have an opinion, anyone? Do we go down into hammer hand for more melee damage, or do we go up into shield so we can start? I, the problem, I don't have any good shields, so it's kind of a wasted point until we do get a good shield. Thoughts, opinions. What do you guys want? I'll probably stream for another twenty minutes or so here too. By the way, God, I love this guy. What's his name? Uh, Dimensions Twenty Show. Bros, we're checking in here right now today, right now, right now. We got 63. We were up to what, 100 and some? 101. 101 Dalmatians. Guys, make sure you're checking out my Twitch, by the way. <sighs> right, I'm going to do this. I agree with you, Revna. <clears throat> Purgator. Bunch of grenades. Doesn't he have... No, no, he's the ammo guy. Okay. By the way, I'm watching Jack Reacher. The, the show, and it's great.
I just have the auto reload button. <clears throat> button. That's over here. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really digging it. I'm, I'm liking Gray Man. I've got to finish that. I got an hour left on it. So we have to research the codex. How far away are we that on? 28 more data, 20 is on this. Okay, uh, we're not gonna be able to make it over here, but we'll start moving in that direction. Uh, the movie is great. I'm talking about the show though. The show is on um, Amazon Prime. Dude, I fucking love that time. We're like, sake! I love Justified, actually. I have not watched it, but I love it. I've seen a bunch of, his, a bunch of bits and pieces of it. Um, what is this? What the hell is that? Hey, look. Sunashi bot. We haven't seen them in a long time. Oh, I think this is an Exterminatus missile, maybe? <clears throat> so that'll expire here soon. Oh! Wow, wild beast. Yeah, it's a nice central place to just kind of advance time. Intervention required. Oh shit. Warning. Detonation detected. Damage reported on subjects 37 through 39. We are not under fire. Was it an accident? Cogitating. Significant sensor tampering identified near the blast site. Sabotage? On a Great Knight strike ship? How is that possible? Your brothers may be above suspicion, but the Edict houses thousands of serfs and crew. Update. Great. Sabotage reports deficiencies in the Bloom Seed inventory and... What? Those are my seeds. Commander, your crew is compromised. We must exercise swift justice. The Edict... Calm your tits back, back here. Investigation required. Recommend upgrading surveillance systems and increase active patrols. That will take time. We could send a squad of knights to investigate immediately. Your brothers are ill-suited for such a task purifier. I will volunteer to help the culprits myself, though it will delay my ongoing research. Mm. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? And the Inquisitor to investigate. If she gets if she gets wounded, then I research much slower. Um, I can lose requisition. So only, I've got, I think it's at eleven. Or do I send Battle Brothers? They have a chance to come back wounded. Is the problem? What do you guys think? What's 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 the? Uh, if Vakir gets wounded. It, slows down our progression through the story. We're trying to get the research done. Is that airlock to open? Mr. Etheric, I, I, my gut goes with this. I just don't know how much requisition we've got left. I, we've got like, I've only got like 11 or 12. And I can only upgrade three things. How much? It's two requisition to upgrade something, right? So that's six.
Yo, Mr. James, what's up, dude? How are you doing, brother? Uh, <laughs> you, what you just said scared me. Yeah, it's eight. Well, we also now have to do this. Thank you, Etheric. Commander, though I am concerned with how rapidly I see this bloom is spreading, your demands of Titan's armory have been growing dramatically. The commander of a Grey Knight strike force must exercise self-discipline in the sacrament of battle. Have you been truly adhering to the virtues demanded of your station? Oof. What do we do, guys? Do we return unneeded equipment to Titan? Which is kind of okay. We don't have many tier 3 things. Um, do we undertake a ritual penance or do we sidestep? I don't want to sidestep. And even Mr. Etheric just confirmed it. we're not sidestepping. So it's either undertake a ritual penance. Three nights will be unavailable for some time. Um, or return the unneeded equipment to Titan. I'm okay with losing two master crafted, unequipped master crafted items because all my good ones are equipped and none of none of us are level three anyway. So I think we just return an unneeded unneeded equipment. Thoughts, opinions, what do you think? That's un yeah, unfair is uh it, it's unfair to talk about <clears throat> Chaos Space Marines and the oldest living Space Marines because they are, like, they were there at the Siege of Terra. And... It's gratifying to know that even so far from Titan, the doctrines of our brotherhood are being... Um, I expect to hear from you in due time, brother. Of course. Now they are... They don't live, they live outside of the constraints of normal time. Thoroughly sensible. Ascent. Results require resources. Outcomes are not achieved through aspiration alone. The plight we contend with here is matched by unspeakable horrors our brothers face elsewhere across the galaxy. Oh, the, the, the video of Roman. We're going to watch that after this. Are mighty, so we consider it a virtue to achieve heroic deeds with the barest of arms. Do not forget this, Commander. Chaos does not fight with one hand tied behind its back. Ah. And... We only have those options. So done and done and done. Right now, I can't do anything there. Dude, ducks, that sucks. I'm sorry. Um, let's watch this. Let's watch Roman in a in a pool. Okay. Oh, he's he's just. Here is Roman in the pool. Look at this. Oh, luxurious, huh? Oh, this uh, resort. What? Oh, my testicles. Oh, my testicles are so cold. Oh, my God. I just want to catch this moment for my dog going in the water for the first time, but my testicles are frozen. Oh. Huh? How's that? Yeah, pretty nice. The flamingo here is pretty on point. Okay, that's chlorine water you are excessively drinking, and you shall soon throw up and or pee out. Oh, yeah. Oh. There it is already. He's a good guy. He's a good little dude. He's a good little dude. That was you I was talking to. Oh no. It comes through dirty all the time. All the time you like. Oh, he's doing great. He is doing great. This next batch of mission should be pretty nice. Okay, and let's let's do. I I think we jump into this right in the Codex Toxicus. Is there any reason not to? 
You deserve five bucks for that video. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? I do have another video too, I forgot. I, there's one of him actually swimming. Thank you very much, Will. He loved it. He loved the water. Uh, I just basically made sure his little head didn't go under, but... He just pretty much just mulled about, man. Um, but I'm thinking, yeah, we just do this. I mean, I could research Infinity Gate, though. Oh, get Infinity, I mean. Why can't I? Oh, it's complete. I just want to have it activated. He's, he's pretty he's pretty fluffy. He's pretty she's pretty fluffy right now. The tide of shadows. You eating your bone, bud? Yeah, we got infinity gate. That's all good. But do we progress the story now? Is that what I do? Is that, should I jump into the Codex Toxicus? Or should I wait? Here and let's let's watch. And the, while you guys answer that, let me get this other video. Thank you for the donation. My fucking processing. It's a tiny little video. Just finish. I don't know, Duke. It's hard to say, man. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely get the, the cheaper purity seals, but is that really, like... Like, obviously it's very important, but don't I want to get this going, Chris? Like, get this done with so I move to the next stage of the story? Because I'm basically just kind of mulling in the same stage over and over and over and over and over. We'll do that, and then we'll jump into these cheaper ones for sure. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, buddy, that scared the shit out of you. I know, I can tell. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my children. We'll swing it in with another five dollar donation. Thank you, man. Come on, why? Why? What's taking so long? I need to download? How long is it taking to download this damn thing? Oh, already done. Huh? Alright, well that was easy. Your first. Oh, screw that. I'm not going to do that. Ah. Woo! What's up, Bill? How you doing, dude? Advanced time. Internal sensor surveillance logs have identified eight incriminating Vox exchanges verifying the existence of a formative play cult on board the Baleful Edict. The senders have been incinerated and data logs expunged, but vestiges of the cult <coughs> simply remain. Monitoring continues. It's pretty hog wild. Well, let's get parent progress two more days. <clears throat> Then let's. I gotta switch to this after it. Okay. So, what is this? Just a card. Nah, level 3 power armor, which is nice. That's kind of worth checking out. What's this? Ooh, level 3 terminator armor. An interceptor at level 3. A rank three and a rank three melee weapon. That's kind of looking, man. Yeah, Mister Theory. That's I'm trying to repair my hole. Like that's my focus. And this is just simply a purgator. Okay, I think we go over here. Bill, good to hear that, man. You just missed. Uh, we're about to watch another Roman video, actually. Our new project. Let's repair that hole. Uh, there we go. 
<clears throat> Buenos dias, bitches. Is this video done? Why does it take us long to process the, a four second video? Um, ooh, danger level high, huh? Win a mission without mastercrafted armor. That is not gonna happen. Not one damn bit. You can, you can la suck it. Good. Everyone is all juiced up too. It's two o'clock though. I don't know. Do we do one more? Do we do one more, guys? Should we just do one more mission together? Trying to watch this goddamn adorable video of my fucking dog. Alright, let's do it. I think we'll just do one more real quick. One more and call it Gued. Alright, so who do we take with us? He's pretty juiced. What about our other our other interceptor? Can I organize those? No, of course not. Why would, why would, why would I want to do something like that? I mean, I could take Crow, if you guys want to see Crow. I have a purifier? Maybe I should take the purifier. I didn't know I had a purifier. I want to bring a damn librarian though, man. <clears throat> if I press this button, don't I have to confirm it? Because what are the chances that I get an actual librarian if I press that button? <sighs> I haven't used I haven't used just a car since I got my paladin. There's like no reason to. Just one more turn. Mortimer. Maybe we can maybe just go with this. Uh, Harn. Maybe we go with this guy just, just to get the best ones out for this. Uh, loadout is Deathmaker. This is armor. Armor is... Touche, Meldrick. Touche, dude. Stop. 
Remember it's sad being really fucking badass. Do we go with this, or do I bring in... Like, I could swap out someone and bring in... No, I kind of like this squad. Like, I actually kind of don't like Crow. I, I think Crow kind of sucks. I mean, he doesn't really suck. I just think he's not that fun. <laughs> so the reason I've got... So if I look at this character... Abilities. So his abilities here. This knight gains one ammo for their equipped grenades. I did not know that was his ability. But I looking at his loadout, so his armor here gives him 35% focus. Huge. And then he has the Sanctic Shard, which gives him an additional 20% bonus to his focus, putting it up to 55. Now that 55% means that when I look at his autos, they will automatically have a much higher chance of kicking off. Well. He, I thought he had, yeah, this. So auto, 100% chance that he parries. Up from the 50%, which is just juicy. I wish we had more Storm Shields, though. That'd be so great. It's good to know that ranged weapons count the Storm Shields, though, so... Shadow gems. Uh, let's go ahead and swap this with Gate of Infinity. Actually, no, we don't need to do that. Yeah. I thought, what was it? What, why can't I just do one there? Where's that? What's that? What's that? It's in the prognostic room. Whatever. Am I stupid? Must be. Extractor, okay, and nope. Throw it out. Guess it's not. I thought it was though for sure. <clears throat> okay. Oh, range weapon, okay. So that means I could possibly oh range two storm bolter in specific, that's right. It's just so much hog swap. Yeah, prognosticer. Prognostication bonus. Oh well, it's fine. Have to attune it? I thought attuning put another network down. No, he doesn't have a, a grenade. He's got a, a different thing. That should be already attuned. He has an extractor extractor server extractor servo skull. Let's see that we can get. Uh, I don't have that tech yet. No, Duke, I do not believe so. I don't know if you can move it after you place it. Good question. Target location reached. However, Vox communication patterns suggest normalcy. Lies and trickery. You nailed Whatever it. You nailed it, Eli. Here, it's been <clears throat> overwhelmingly successful. We will purge the planet if we must. But first, the bloom spawn must be cut at its roots before its seeds spread any further. 
Oh, shit. Okay, so we need to go kill the spreader. Which is back here. Got spawn there. <clears throat> spawn here. I think we just go right for the spreader. We'll, we'll kill that spawn and then go right for the spreader. Patrol's gonna go that direction. Okay, we should be good then. <clears throat> That's right, I forgot about that. Thank you, good call. Those swords are so cool. I can't wait to get like those are only rank two swords. There's not tier three. I want those. I want those. All right, so we kind of gotta just go right down the pipe on this then. Sure, the bloom's home turtle from releasing its spores for one turn. Yes, come on. Toodaloo, bitches! You know, I probably should have stacked up in the proper corners for that first. Yes, Commander. Praise the Emperor. Defense is active! Standing ready. I am the chosen shield. Ready to serve. As order. I'm here to serve. Taking position. <laughs> Leroy. Marvelous. As ordered. You know what else was really good? The terminal list. It's so Perfect. good. They come. Today Perfect. we shall hey, be It's tested. all to come my way. I don't want them to sprout like that. That's kind of annoying, actually. I love that it gives actual physical, like, mutations on them. Terminalist is so good, man. I really enjoyed the shit out of it. What do you mean? He's close enough. So maybe we do a little bit of... Uh... <sighs> maybe get you right... Can you? No, you can't. You can't. You can't. You should be able to from here. An earnest disciple. I've been on that, that, that route too lately, Ken. I've watched so many of those things. I just love old, like, 90s campy films. Like, they just, they, they resonate with me, man. This is coming with me. Let's go. Oh my god, that movie is so bad and good. Oh, it's a good little destruction there. I can just normally destroy these guys, not use any willpower. Probably the way to do it. Dude, that, that's another thing I forgot. His helmet is so sick. Look at this guy's helmet. Oh, there's like a... It's got a glowing 
rune right there, like a glowing um, inquisitorial seal. What is your will? Yes, come on. My blade is ever ready. On my way. No way. I said I thought I pressed the shoot button. Well, it's always cool to watch someone land we back in that thing. The darkness. Praise the Emperor. My shield protects me, brother. Ow. That's fucked up. That's actually not good. Don't be a jerk. Purged. My wrath is restored, brother. Oh, come on. Two demon packs make the best power duo? Oh, corn and, uh, corn and zinch, 100%. Press the ranged attack button. No, you pissing me off right now, man. Yes, Commander. Mortimer. Thing, try to like pop it out right now. Yeah, go for that. Yeah, that was sweet. Ready to serve. Hell yeah, Bill. Sorry for bringing all that ruin upon you, bro.
advancing. Tarkov is a is not forgiving is, is not a forgiving mistress. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I shall teach so that you may learn, Bill. What is your will? This will fail. I thought that was cleaned with the purged. Gratitude. Your orders? Oh, hell yeah. Can it? Will it work? I think the auto fire still gives him the. Ah, uh, whoops. Whoops, these. I am the Emperor's Fury! Have trigger control. Do not spin around and fire shotgun on your partner. <laughs> That's such a good video. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Here's what I want to watch. Here you go, guys. Get ready for it, it's coming. Who wants to see Roman in a pool? He's Roman in a pool. It's Roman in a pool. Your first swim. It's your first swim. And you're crushing it. Do 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 do. Ha! Ha 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 ha! What, what the hell dog is that? He he got your like so swim. skin. He like, got like so small when he was. When he came out of the water. Like he was just like the skinniest little dog in the world. It was so funny. It was so funny. He's so cute. Oh, that dog is adorable. Right? It just a wet little sock. They come to the Yeah. This is gonna be a rough and tumble fight today. Is this possessed? I mean, yeah, actually, I really like Dawn of War 3. People hate on it, but I love it. I might just go balls out for this. I am here to soon. Because Roman's going to start getting antsy soon. Let's do it. Oh, this might not have been the best call, but I'm, I like a good challenge. Just look at the vile thing. Show it no mercy. This is going to be, this is going to be hog wild. Shudders below. Be swift, Commander. The enemy attempts to intervene. Oh, fuck, man. Dude, dead. Donald War 3 is amazing. I don't know. People, people hit on it, and I, I don't understand it. That's actually going to be crucial right there. Okay. Before we do that. A balls deep. Sir. 
This actually won't be hard. I've got so many ways to like manipulate the environment to help me out here. It will be done. And that guy's in a great position because I'm going to do this I right now. Oh shit. Reloaded. I need one more ammo for it. Now I can do it. I mean, this is going to. And they're not going to get knocked back from this. <clears throat> it's already getting beautiful. Okay, this, give me willpower. Yep, same thing here. And then we do the fury of the ancients with a warp charge to blow everything up. Oh, fuck that wall, who needed it? Place looks like crap anyway. Kill these guys really quick so they don't Cursing mess everything up. Focus. We slay the darkness. up to you. It is up to you. Can you finish it for us, Apothecary? Oh, yeah, you can. Cybol for extra. Oh. Look at that. Yes. Another vile edifice Go of fuck yourself, war. Chaos. Well we done, just Commander. inserted and ex exerted? Extracted. <laughs> Boom. And that for a... Uh, just in and out. I love that. that was surgical. Don't believe him, Eli. It's a fun game. It's still very good. People hate on it. It's still very, very good. I, I am of the camp that Dawn of War One was the best. Three is better than two, and I know that's a hot take. Rotham and Guardian. See, I mean, it'd be great to have an interceptor, but <clears throat> I want more. Uh... Stephen, how dare they? They should not. They should never think that. <clears throat> Auto parry. Oh, like that. What is this? Tier two. I already got one of those. Mantle of the elect. I, I kind of don't like any of this. <laughs> Yeah, this is okay. I can only afford... Yeah, I can't only afford one of these. Fifteen percent crit with the sword. You know, Ken... You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> uh, actually, Indie Pride and I played on Sunday. I don't know, two days ago, on Monday. And we opened up, I got three headshots. I was hot. I was hot. And I was getting a lot of really good kills, but we just couldn't capitalize on them. It was, it was really pissing me off. I was getting, I was so trigged. I was like, mother fuck. I was getting triggered everywhere. Yeah, the Bird TA is my, is my, it's just such an expensive gun. It's like almost 400. As you die, you lose a lot of money. I don't know. What do we go with, guys? Do we get with the mantle of, uh, of elect? It's 
take more hammers. <laughs> this sword might be good. The six damage, uh, I mean, but the people that use the sword, I've already got, I've, I've already got a really good one. Yeah, I was gonna say that, I was just looking at the four strike bonus, it's pretty nice. Yeah, I'll go with the armor here. A promotion for the Purgator. Done and done. Okay, let's roll some credits here, guys. There we go. Bring our stream to an end here. But we have a lot of donations, a lot of new members. So let me give a lot of thanks here today because we have tons to go through. So, um, Timeless Chronicles for uh, renewing his membership. Rewinger for renewing his membership. Will Clark for becoming a new member. Buck Hammer for renewing his membership. Thank all of you guys very, very much. As I've always said, the memberships are pretty much something that means that I can consistently kind of do what I want without having to worry about constantly putting out videos because it provides reliable monthly income so thank you so 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 much um and a huge shout out here to will clark with a 20 a 20 a 5 a 5 a 10 um and a 5 and a 5 all aussie donation i think that was a total of uh, 75 80 dollars us so thank you very much man that massive amount of donations is on top of becoming a member so thank you very 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 much dude um Eli with a $35 donation, just banging it in there. Um, Eamon with two $50 donations, topping us off as the largest donator of the day, I think at 100. So thank you very, very, very much, Eamon. Glenn B swinging in with a 20 Aussie as well. Some dollary dues, as he called it, from the didgeridoo land of Australia. So thank you very much, dude. And Ken with a $40 donation as he is recovering on the back end of some COVID. And Buck Hammer also doing a $10 donation on top of becoming a new member as well. So, guys, thank you very, very much. Uh-oh, Will swinging in with another sneaky five, to five bucker. And John Wilkerson becoming a new member of the channel here, too. So, guys, thank you very much. That was so huge. Just swung in with the last minuteers here. I'm so, like, you guys have made this stream awesome. Like, I was like, hey, you know what? I really like streaming. I'm going to stream here today and kind of just talk through some of the things I'm having problems with with the channel as far as like what I see myself in the future doing. And it was cool to kind of get your feedback. And you guys have been so generous today. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, I don't know what we'll stream on Saturday. Um, I kind of want to do Baldur's Gate uh, just because we got... We got time to kill until Immortal Empires comes out. Like I said, we'll probably hit the typical marketing ramp that Creative Assembly does with the content creators where we will get access to the game early, where we can share content with you guys with certain embargoes. Um, whenever that happens, we'll hit that point, of course, you know. But I think a lot of people enjoyed Baldur's Gate and I really want to play it. Warhammer landmarks and the real inspirations in history and geography. <gasps> Eli, that's a cool idea. I don't know of any good ones, but that's a really cool idea. I got a guy. I got a guy. Yeah, maybe we do some Baldur's Gate on Saturday just to kind of mix things up. We do shorter streams on Saturday anyway, just like a two, three hour stream just to kind of wet the chops as it were. But guys, I'm going to take young Roman out. Oh, he's a little, little twitchy sleeping. I'm going to take out the young boy so he can go pee. He's going to eat some food. I'm going to eat some food and we're going to watch an episode of Jack Reacher together. But I will see you bros here on Saturday. Thank you so much for watching here today. I got a really fun video planned for this weekend, kind of going over some of the survey results of what the uh, campaigns people are going to be choosing for Immortal Empires when it comes out. So be on the lookout for that video here coming on uh, the next couple of days. But as always, thank you so much for watching here today. Will Clark, you have fun as well. Sand Pirate, thanks for watching, my guy. Ken, thank you, brother. Thank you, my guy.
All right, guys, everybody, wash your hands, stay safe, take care, and we will see you on Saturday. But toodle-doo, my bros.